But then I'm like, oh, that's right, because I was streaming before then and forgot to change the volume back to up. <sighs> In any case, so the title of today's show is is Bears and Dragons for for, for or O four six One Night in Thay. <laughs> How many people got that joke? I didn't get it. Sorry. You didn't get it. Ethan, did you did you did you get the joke of one night in Thay? Again. One night in Thay. If I if I follow that up and your and the world's your oyster, ours are temple, but the pearls ain't free. There's a god in every golden cluster. Okay, you don't get it. Sorry. So there was a musical uh, written by I want to say it was Tim Rice even uh, called uh, uh, Chess. Ah, uh, you're so gay. Um, okay, go and, on. And but. Th- one of the th- songs called One Night in Bangkok oh. um, was actually popular enough to get a music video wow. <laughs> and shown on MTV. That sh- that you know, says back a when MTV actually showed music videos. I love waking up like in the morning, getting ready for work or school and turning on MTV and like it being the music videos. I remember for a solid month Whenever I would turn it on, like I had like some un- uncanny thing, but Bad Romance would be on, or like just coming on. Like so, I'd be rocking out to the Lady Gaga, getting ready for school. That song. And this is when it was first coming out, so it was it was played a lot. But like I always was able to. So it turned out like as soon as I turned my TV on. Lady Gaga was playing. All right. Oh, everybody should have gotten one. Yes. Yay. Oh. Here we are. Oh, All right, everybody. It's that time. Oh, let me change it. Oh, oh, there it is. Here we are. Okay, look at those. Those new um, things we got. So what's happening? What's happening to Crevis? Okay, so we, let's 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 kick into the recap. So, welcome everybody to Bears and Dragons, where a bunch of us nerdy ass uh, bears sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons. There we go. Um. So previously. On Bears and Dragons, that was actually recorded on camera. What happened last time? Well, we were able to um, get to the basement area of the tower, uh, Zenithal's Tower. Did I say it right? Zenithal? Zonthal's. Zonthal's. Can I, oh, I know. Um, Zonthal's Tower. Um, after doing some investigation, some quick banishment of some elementals and fighting against some elementals, uh, we came upon the, the dead body of said uh, defector. Figuring, finding out he actually had been dead for a little bit. Um, we grabbed the dragon mask, which we come to find out that was a fake. Uh, headed back to out of the tower. Once we got outside of the tower, the village outside of it actually was being attacked by an adult blue dragon. Which apparently isn't a problem for this group anymore, because the Pirates of Faith made quick work of it. 
uh, after spending the night in the t- in the village, making sure like helping with recuperation, uh, recovery, and all everyone's uh, like helping out, uh, taking care of the damages, providing some needed in- distraction and form of entertainment for the people, giving food, medical aid, and all, plus some money for the village to re- be able to afford to rebuild and get back on its feet. Pyres of Faith went back to the Sanctum of Io. Where where did you get this money? Well, some of, I'm getting to that. The money before the money that I had given the uh, the mayor before was just the money I had from the squall had from his raid with the um uh the tie after killing the dragon was able to attune to his soul and figure out where his lair was. Yes, but this was we did that the day after. I did this before the night uh oh, the okay. attack. Um because I, I still I had, No, because I still had that I had a shit ton of gold from when we went up against the um one dragon. When Squall when Squall was part of the group that went up against the one dragon. Ah, oh, that's right. The, the so he had a he had a bunch of money. The Karna. I keep forgetting that word. The Karna. Um, so he had a bunch of money from that, and that's what he used to give the, um, mayor, or whoever was in charge at that time, the mayor was already dead, um, that got killed during the attack, uh, to rebuild. Yet that night, uh, once, uh, Shatan was able to, he said, attune to the ancient blue dragon's soul and actually find its lair. So the group next day, did a bit of forging in the dungeon, got a bunch of stuff, a lot of nice things, which reminds Squall that he needs to actually look at one of those things as a possible item for um, one of the dragons. Get that thing enchanted. Um, just a rudimentary enchantment. Maybe the diadem. Um, and also, on, while he was rest, uh, once they were heading back, Squall was doing a little bit of resting in his bottle, he came up with a quick witch, quick, get quick, rich, wow, words, get rich, quick scheme, involving some Narzal's marvelous pigment. Thanks to that nice two jars of pigments. Hey, he he got creative. Don't get mad at him with how he used the thing. It was given to them. He used it. It was rolled on a random loot table. (laughs) Yeah, he took advantage of it. Squall was able to get the group a total of 244,000 platinum pieces. Makes a little loophole in the design of the item. Hey, to find out how much gold pieces that is, just add a zero at the end. <laughs> so everyone has a lot of money now. Uh, once they got back to I- the Sanctum of the Io, they all did a little shopping. Uh, Federico and Squall went to um, Acquisitions Incorporated to do a little scavenging for some items. Um, Wall also used a portion of his money to help out the orphanages throughout the Sword Coast. Uh, due to personal experience with the shop side. And then Chris and Phoebus went on their anniversary, surprise anniversary picnic. Brought to you by Layton. So that's Last what happened Last in, in the video. Then suddenly Somebody had a little itch that he needed scratched. And we found out what happened. So, uh, we'll we'll do a a quick prelude to that, though. Meanwhile, in in an immense fortress on the top of Mount Celestia, in the Outer Plains, a silver dragonborn is working some magic. 
Silver uh, Dragonborn's eyes glowed purple as he concentrated on the ritual, mentally manipulating the elemental energy to the to the correct alignment. Orbs of fire, poison, cold, acid, and lightning positioned themselves in the correct array, they guided by the short Dragonborn's movements. Finally aligned correctly, he spoke the graviturgic incantation to compress the energies into a small ball. An additional incantation and gestures and creates an encasement for the ball, sealing it, sealing in its energies. The Dragonborn's eyes return to their normal shades of blue as he reaches out and collects the orb. Well, that's done. I didn't should be able to use either of these, but he can't use both of them at the same time. Cyrus turns to the old man. I can't use the metallic one as I'm just way too young. I could work with the power. Work It would work, but the power of the breath wouldn't be strong enough. It would require an ancient metallic dragon. Again, Laden could do it, but then we need an ancient chromatic dragon. The old man nods. Do you have a suggestion? Cyrus narrows his eyes. Well, there is one ancient brew dragon that married Krebus that's being stuck in a while well, being stuck in a blue dragonborn. In the form of a blue dragonborn. I can read, really again. The old man bows his head, seeing where this is going. He sighs. My child so young as you to speak to one as old as I. I suppose you're more of a child of Ogma or Ayun than of me. Cyrus gives a little smirk, and Bahamut chuckles. Bahamut walks over to the work table and touches a sphere of various metals. The orb glows over a moment. Glows for a moment, actually, I think is what it should be. There. Blessing for Kriff. He'll give him back his ability to change shape and provide his current mortal bomb mortal body the life he had as a dragon i believe that should suffice the old man bahamut just stares at the why are you doing this that was expression turned serious why after all this time are you helping kriv as i love my children old man bahamut turns back to the short dragonborn didn't know that too Seven great gold worms are my sons and daughters. My first clutch, in fact. They are shock included. As a father, I need to discipline my children. Not out of malice. Of love. Of love sometimes, but love nonetheless. You found happiness with Priebus and Laden. Makes me happy to see him have a family. With that... I ask for your help to ensure his happiness for his husband's stupidity. From, <laughs> to ensure his happiness from his husband's stupidity. Words probably weren't the right things now that I'm reading it again. <laughs> <clears throat> Cyrus chuckles. <laughs> you think Crebus Cre would be wiser being a cleric? It might be his thick-headedness as a barbarian. The two have a chuckle as a gold, as a gold dragon lands on the... Balcony of the workroom. The female dragon speaks. Father, it's about to happen. We must hurry. Cyrus and Bahamut look at each other. The silver dragonborn turns, gathers a book and the, meta and the metallic and chromatic orbs from the table. He transforms into his silver mini dragon form and flies onto the gold worm's back. Thank you, Koya. Takes Cyrus to the sanctum of eyes. Cyrus, gather Laden and Kasota. Your daughter should help you to quickly set up the ritual. Cyrus nods as he gets a good grip on the great worm. Give Marishok, Krebus, and Laden my love. Cyrus smiles as Korea lifts off. I will. And with that transition, we will go into TLDR because this was really long. Yeah, you take the whole session just catching up. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't want to do that. We, we need to get back to the pyre, of, the actual pyre of faith. So, so what happened?
Oh, want me to go over it again? Okay. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, so... Come to, uh... During their pic- their anniversary picnic, uh... Li- uh um... Kriv and... Krivus were talking about a few things, some stuff that happened during Krivus' thousand-year journey, and some regrets that he had of it, and at that point, Krivus started to have what Kriv thought was almost heart attack-ish. Um, and what, as soon as that happened, Layden, uh, Cyrus, and Kasota showed up to help him perform a ritual. Because what was actually happening is once a person has been a kind of avatar of Io for over a thousand years, Io grants them a boon of becoming a true avatar of Io. Krebus, being the stubborn little goat that he is, actually had been holding it off for quite a bit. Almost a year past the time that it was supposed to happen. Uh, with Layden and Kisota, Kreev, and Cyrus's help, they were able to perform the ritual that encased Krebus in a cocoon egg-ish type thing of chromatic light. And they have been waiting there. Come to find out that Krebus is actually becoming a true dragon. During this time, while Layden and Kriv are keeping watch, because Kriv ain't going nowhere until he finds out exactly what happens to his hubby. And to give it a little bit of description about the ritual, Cyrus had had the instructions for a magic circle to be drawn around uh, uh, Krebus, who is currently unconscious. Uh, and mostly dead, which is also a, a semi-reference to a one of my favorite films. And the orbs that Cyrus made, he gave to Kriv and Layden so that they could breathe every single different time of breath weapon all at once. Acid gave Kriv a little scratchy throat. Yeah, the orb also gave the bl- the blessing that Bahamut put on the orb that uh, uh, Kriv swallowed. Um, it included, uh, it gave him the ability to change shape, etc. And he he suddenly flapped into the air instinctively, and you have this like two ancient dragons on either side, just breathe on. Uh, and Krebus, and they ended up swirling around, creating this orb of... And we're not just talking about the elemental energies. Squall also breathed his weakening breath, his sleep breath, and his... Uh, uh, oh, what was it? The slowing breath? Or repulsion breath, all at the same time. So... Also, I meanwhile, Wall was a dragon. Uh, no, uh, Kriv, 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 Kriv. Yeah, remember I said the squall was Kriv. Anyways, so next, so now he's a, in this egg, kind of floating about thirty feet up in the air, um, swirling chromatic metallic breath weapon energies. While they are um, waiting to see the finished results of all this. Uh, Kriv and Layden had been visited by Kriv slash Marathop's sibling, the other golden worms of Bahamut. Each one kind of helping him them out, take shifts, and keep them company, and let Layden know about his family uh, more while all this is processing. He's already met and met Total of four of the four of them. We got Kyria, your two brothers, Songrad, bon, uh, Grunum, and Brokad, mm. including myself. That makes five. There's only two left. Yep. And they just uh, recently, fa- uh, thanks to a device that Cyrus was able to make, determined that by break of the next morning or soon after. Creepus will emerge. 
because he's already exiting his out of his adult dragon phase. Rapid growth. He's gonna be so sore. They grow so fast. Right? Just... <laughs> of course, Layden probably when he went back to the sanct- sanctum of eyes, explained the situation to everybody. Um, actually, Kasota probably did that before he had, re- or yeah, Kasota and and later would have said it because they didn't took Kasota back to the sanctum of eyes. Well, Korea took. Um, Cyrus back to Mount Cyrus Celestia. back to Mount Celestia. Uh, yeah, she only had a brief visit because she just was delivering, and. So here we are. Uh, we're at the Sanctum of Eyes. We could say Layden had probably just um, left uh, after pick- picking up some camping supplies, a tent, uh, stuff for cooking, and uh, some food, and drink. And here you are. So, I know what well, since we're would it have been the same night we gotten back from the tower, or would this be the next day? You want to say? Um, this would be yeah, because it's a, it's the same day that Kriv and Krebus went on. So, part of that tale actually overlaps with adventure yeah so okay because i know um i know one thing squall would inquire within the sanctum of eyes about if someone could do some research for him about things for purchase in town So he would well, try to find out who would be the best person to talk to about that. Well, you know, sister, just what I don't know when was the timeline. If it's she's going there or she went there. I'm assuming we're back from that, and it's actually the next day. Okay. Because we got back, we did some shopping, and then we had a long rest. Okay. So I'm assuming it's the day after while Squall was thinking out some stuff and like further things to do and his own personal goals on what he wants. So now he knows he needs to look for some stuff. But it's more, it's bigger than just small items. So you wake up in the morning and are contemplating about some of these things. Uh, and this brown art yawns next to you. Good morning. Good morning. You seem contemplative. Thinking about what to happen after this all and what I want done. Came up with that I, that notion, and now I just need to see how to see it through. So you said Eros sent you to us. Yes. What, what was your patron like? What, are, what has he been asking of you? Like, before before this. Before, it was all just small things and stuff. Clear out to some runes, some random runes and um, other minor things. This is actually the first big thing he has asked of me. And you've been, other than that, and outside of that, what have you been doing? My normal entertainment stuff, putting on shows for children. I know my afterwards I want to continue on with that and while you were sleeping I came to the chairman that I'm actually gonna go about trying to purchase my own theater company. Hmm. I want to be known as one of the best performers and why not be one of the ones that put on the best shows together? My company being the one that put on the best shows in all of the Storm Coast. Well would you like my help? 
starts just like trailing a finger up his chest and just like, yeah. Well, I think I will. Thank you. He gives you a kiss. You have a lot of work to do. I have been sitting around on my ass just reading books. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm a well-read person. But this will give me something extra to do besides. I've enjoyed our time with us. Don't know about that. And I may not return to Iodron. Oh, good. I, I know we've only known each other for a little while. But I like you. A lot. I like you, too. Uh, I'm sure another kiss happens there. Oh, yes. Uh, you're probably in each other's arms right now. Yes, um, and Ragnar's, Ragnar is just swinging. Like, I have a little hammock for him, too. Like, kind of like a... It's like a little platform with pillows and stuff that just hangs above the bed that he lays on. Yeah, the, um, the brass... Uh, uh, Jordan's brass uh, pseudo-dragon... Uh, has his own pillow in the corner. Just kind of like opposite each other. <laughs> right now, likes being up in the air. I also need to go talk to Kisota and see if I can that diadem back. We do need an item for one of the dragons of the Metallic con- Consoles. And that could work if Gemma could put a enchantment on it. Which I, I feel that is no issue for her. I can help her with that too. Okay. Although, inquiring about, I'm looking for what? An establishment? Want to get your own theater? I feel like starting up a theater of my own would be an issue due to, I, I, I'm somewhat notable, but not quite notable yet. And all. But fixing an already established company, taking it upon myself and producing it up my own way, would be a lot easier of an adventure. Okay. I, I will shop around. Thank you. I'll scope out to these troops and see if they're ones that might fit your bill. That may need a little help. And then um, Squall will go ahead and grab one of his uh, Everkeeper coin, uh, Quartz Everkeeper Coin Keeper and give it to him. Just in case you're able to purchase a good one right away, here's some money for it. I, will I know. Make sure to to spend it well. I'll have a uh, one hundred and two thousand three hundred and twelve in there, leaving me just a thousand, a hundred thousand left. I know. I just realized that's I to, um, maybe you kind of need a. Oops. Accidentally pulled up a YouTube. Video. Didn't want to. Do... <laughs> Was it a good YouTube video? Uh, it was, uh, some, uh, British people playing D&D, so, this is good. I mean, what do you think? That is all Squall has before he needs, what, he'll get ready to meet up with the rest of the group to figure out their next venture with the Wizards of Pay. How much, how much gold? Uh, gold 102,312. Technically, it's more than what the co- coin keeper can ha- hold on to, but plot. It just gives me a th- 100,000 left, so it's okay. perfect. 
it, it it's a, a the ever keep coin keeper which a which is more like along the lines of a handy haversack where it actually has a couple pockets on the outside. There you go. <laughs> which beyond its original ca- capacity can hold its own capacity. Anyway. Plot. Again, plot. <laughs> Gemma has been doing some improvements to, to corn. <laughs> <laughs> It's 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 Gemma's handy, handy haver haver coin purse. Um, read on. And then I know it was Leo Sin that gave us the mission for them, so I'm guessing he would have more info for us about the wizards. If I remember correctly, who gave what to us? Uh, he was the he was... one who got contacted to to basically negotiate for a parley, for lack of a better term, uh, at uh, she he was contacted and he arranged a meeting with you f- with. With uh, Ni Ilmic or Ni Ilmic and Y H, that yes, please. I think I put it in the chat before, but you know we had an entire uh, we've had like a couple of sessions two... between it. Yeah, and she she told you. Uh, she told you that uh, she would be willing to take you to keep naming keep uh, Neth Watch Keep uh, near the territory to speak with the uh, Thearchian. There. Isildra, yes. Full title. Can you <laughs> put that in? So, the Archon or the Archean is a title. Her name is Isildra. Yes. Yep. At the time, would he had given us more information on like how to? Interact with the wizards. So, he says that good explanation. Say is ruled by the Arch Lich uh, Zastam. They are a mageocracy. So mages have a higher standing than the rest of the people. You you can't do magic. You're you're the, at the bottom of the to- totem pole, per se. Uh, their focus does focus on necromancy, the undead. And it's probably one of the reasons why the leader is an arch lich. <laughs> A lot they they primarily stay in their borders. So they they're a seclusive sort of people, but they have been known to extend their reach on occasion. For various reasons. A lot of people consider them to be in basically evil. And the likelihood of, of that being true is 
pretty high percentage, if not 100%. Any other information we should know about them, like interacting that Leolson would have given us? So I figure since it's a, there, there would be more, because it's a diplomatic, there would be like do's and don'ts. The best I can tell you, was the Osun, is to be polite. Dress people in the man in the manner you're dressed. So, for example, the Theokian you would refer to her as Theok, not by her name. All right, it's titles. When in doubt, do not speak unless you are spoken to. That might okay. be hard. During this whole time, Squall is just looking. Squall is just looking at Frederica and be like, "This might be an issue." Yeah. Yeah. If anything, I. Don't bring Zindralov. Why? Well, he's a cleric. And, very... and a light cleric at that. There might be oh. some... Yeah, that, that makes sense. Again, diplomatic mission. Zindralov being present says, I do not take offense to this. Just like Kriv standing out of that bar fight, letting it happen, because he knows if he was in there, he would have to stop it. Sometimes he's better to just step away. Wow, that's a callback. But a good one. Long time ago. That was a hot. That was Horde of the Dragon Queen. Mm hmm. When you're ready, uh, I can take you to the Archmage, and he can teleport you to Nethwa. Is there anything you uh, Squall will turn to Keithrick and Frederick, is there anything else you all need to do before we head out? Just in case, I need to see um, Gemma. Gemma? Gemma? Gemma. 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 Um, just to see, um, how's the update on uh, the daggers for uh, boy? Just in case. Uh, right now, boy has the black, the green, and the white, and he no, just I mean, gave. I mean, how many? Uh, how many did you order? Just one, right? Yeah, one of each. One of each. Okay. But um, she doesn't have any red tooth, um, unless she has some. And I just gave her the blue one, so. But also, uh, it's only it, been it's a still, day. Yeah, it's still, it's just been a day. She's still. Yes. She's good. Not that good. Yes. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> Artificers does it in um, one quarter of the time, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah, well, but also. Day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Again, if, see, this would be a. It's a rare one, so... A rare items, so that's... Ten weeks. One quarter yeah. of one week. She's also been developing methods of speeding up the processes without yeah. raising quality, so... Yeah. Or, it, it, she, she's actually still in the heart of Quart. Um, she, while she likes him, he friends on Quart. Womp womp. Court. Damning. Hey, Turk, is there anything you need to do? You just got a shit ton of money. Turk just uh, shakes his head. All right. Uh, um, sorry, go ahead. And sister has um, 
um, have been uh, reading the book she gotten? I don't know. Has she been reading the book? I mean, she had the whole night. Yeah, okay. And it changes nothing since she has the, the, the gloves. <laughs> Just, it's going to be done. See, you've had enough time to read it? It's up to you. Well, I mean, which book is this again? Remind me. The strength one. The strength one? Yeah. You need to read for 48 hours, I think, over six days. Oh, yeah, yeah you no, three no, days she's... to read it for 48 hours. Then, no, she, she hasn't. <laughs> you may have progressed. Yes. <laughs> but within the next six days, you need to finish, otherwise the magic fades. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's going to finish at some point. So how many? So just this note. How many hours? But no. Let's say twelve. Crib is able to do this while hatching eggs. (laughs) You were reading the book to Layden. (laughs) It's a lot. Anyways. Uh, Um. Weirdly enough, actually, she she's not gonna read it. She's gonna give it to Boy. Well, but boy gets strong. that boost. Yeah, boy gets stronger. Well, you like you said, you have the, you have the Titan Stone knuckles. You really it's, don't need a little bit of that boost in strength. Exactly. <laughs> I don't. I don't really need it. So, okay. Boy has been starting to read. Okay. So, so well, if you, well, look, if you, you want to do an interaction. Right, if you want to do an interaction of like Lemon seeing her brother read or anyone seeing her brother read, be like, I, th- I think he's sick. Someone call her, someone calls him to love. So, so, so quick <laughs> d- description here. Um, okay, no, I know what would have happened. Um, Go on. Chitan disappears for a while. He doesn't want to be seen. No, no one. You kind of, you know where he is. He's actually just kind of like hiding in his room. Um, and, and he's reading the book. Uh, he's, he's actually, he himself is invisible, but due, due to some strange reason, the book won't go invisible. So he's propped it up on something. And he's, he's just invisible nearby. And if anybody comes looking for him, they can't see him. So he just kind of like stays still. And there's just this book open here, and he's still reading it. And then he'll he'll like glance over, make sure nobody's watching, and flip the page. <laughs> that seems about right. Yeah, but it but he's still doing it in a place where you would actually have to look for him in the area. Uh, Frederica, you would probably would have been like, "Boy, what are you?" And you would see the book and know what the book is and be like, oh, okay. and turns around. <laughs> it's just be like, I'm just going to let you read. Yep. And I just, Have you seen Chitai? I, I want him, want his help for something, but I, I can't find him. Do, do you know where he is? You should know where he is. You got the whole bond thing going. So just, just for the love of it, sister is going to roll for deception. Okay. No, I haven't seen him. That crit fell in crit. And uh, uh, she goes, "He's upstairs in his room, isn't he?" No. <laughs> All right, and she starts going up the stairs to his room. A few minutes later, Soto says, "says." He must have gone somewhere else since last you were there because I didn't see him at all. <sighs> I'm time that boy. And he's, she just kind of stomps off. I fear taking sister on this diplomatic mission. <laughs> That's a good fear. Yeah, <laughs> a... Four charisma. Just don't talk. Please don't talk. Do you, do you, at all. Like, do you have any. Can you double check that? I don't think you have that low of a charisma score. Yeah, she has a five, and the the circlet gives her minus two. Oh, <laughs> I know. Oh, never. I mean, <laughs> at, at that point, 
she doesn't mind like having that low of a charisma. She's just a brick in faces. I mean, she <laughs> could ju- she could just like for temporarily for this diplomatic mission, <laughs> unattune and take off the, the thing. Yes, she could. Th- that could help at some point, I guess. Uh, she's gonna do it just for. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not it's as bad. bad. You can to it. It's fine, but. Maybe you two like, I, I'm so scared of this. <laughs> we got the person with the negative four, and the then me over here with a plus ten and mo- majority of yes. charisma ability checks. Let, let's just say this. You, you were doing that and realized, why am it so hard for me to, to deceive anybody? And you're like, oh, that's not helping, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Take it off on a dude. <laughs> Fortunately, uh, you got a rogue son there, so he's he's, yeah, he's good boy. from hiding. He's good from hiding from his sister. <laughs> Anyways, are y'all ready? Yes. Hi, hi, Captain. All right. So we got Boy, Ethic, Frederica, and Squall, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Rogue Bros, a warlock, and a uh, fighter. So, so one, one spellcaster. One spellcaster. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, at least I'm good at, my character's good at talking. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I need to check something quickly here. The whole time we're there, uh, Ragnar is going to be on my um, shoulder. Yep. But we we didn't level up, right? No. Uh, No. Why do I know? One day, we're one day we milestone. Yeah, but I don't know if we've like finished well, a chapter okay, or anything. Giving you, giving you a level up. Yeah. We also yeah, did I, get. I gave you a level up already. Yeah, we're at level thirteen at the start of the tower because uh, like everyone, even who wasn't part of the dragon raid, got You're a right. level. You are right. So. You said it might be a little bit before we get another. Yeah, level. the 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 original intended one was is delayed because other things. Oh, oh, okay. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I don't like oh. all these nodes. Oh. Uh, they, they they unnerve me. <laughs> There's too many O's going on. Please stop. Uh oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right. So, apparently, uh, uh, Ni, the uh, red wizard named Ni, uh, is was actually secreted into Waterdeep. Um, because she was trying to be an emissary, but they didn't want to make a hullabaloo. So she has kind of like a a little like apartment room uh, off uh, some quarters. There are guards nearby. Uh, They don't, they're acting like they're not guarding her room, but they're there. They're secret guards. Yeah. And when you're ready, she... She's finishing up a, a morning breakfast. I'm assuming you're probably going to want to do this in the morning, or you actually afternoon. I think it would be by this time. She says, so she's finishing up a, a little lunch. She says, oh, you're back. Uh, are you ready? That we are. All right, everybody, hold hands. I don't think she actually needs to do this, but. 
Actually, she doesn't need to do this now, I think, but... Well then, off to Death Watch. She snaps her fingers, and you all hear this whoosh. <laughs> and yes, you're uh, at Death Watch. Seemingly, it it's darker here. But it doesn't seem it's darker because of the time of day. But for some reason, the area feels like to be in a, a constant gloomy attitude. That's weather, gloomy weather. Uh, how's Catherine feeling? Um, you decide. Uh, I, I pretty much decided every time um, we you teleport, teleport he throws up, depending okay. on his uh, con save. Uh, you're a little queasy, but you made it fine. It's just, it'll, okay. it'll just like take you a moment, but nothing, nothing uh, adversarial happens. Cool. And you are standing in the uh, courtyard of what looks to be this gothic looking building. Uh, it has stone walls and, and battlements uh, around it. Uh, but the building, well, if you knew what Ravenloft was, kind of looks like that. A uh, building that's from, from Ravenloft. Or in, in outside of D&D, your, your typical Transylvanian motif. I'll go find Strahd real quick. Okay. And bitch that them up the side of the head. <laughs> My girlfriend left me. I'm going to make it all y'all's problem. I haven't actually finished, or actually, I just quit my game of Curse of Strahd, so... It, it's pretty much what it is. My girlfriend left me, and I'm going to make it everyone's problem. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> that's that's the sum of Curse but, of Strahd. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the premise. Is that why <laughs> people call him a simp? No. no. Oh. Anyway. People might simp over him, but... Well, maybe he's a simp for his problem. Maybe. I haven't gotten that too far, Curse of Strahd. High Rollers, by the way, did, uh, did a uh, campaign of Curse of Strahd. I haven't watched all of it, but... They were doing that for a while. I'm not sure if they finished that or not. In any case... Also, maybe that's a future future campaign of uh, B and D. In any case, so need uh, leads you into into the keep, and uh, they actually assigned you a few. Uh, of rooms for yourself, which look very luxurious. Yay. <laughs> I'm sure after this teleportation, you may need, need some rest. I want to make sure to provide for you, and do not worry. Yes, I think just holding your stomach. Do not worry, you are our guest. Yes, and we will provide you whatever you need. Uh, you notice that there are some uh, servants that are around, but you also know that notice that they are obviously undead. Cool. Oh, that's why it's in the yeah. log. <laughs> I got you too. Yeah. <laughs> um, guys, you can clearly see that sisters is not happy to see undeads. Just turn to just be like, remember, we are guests here. Be polite. Okay. <laughs> what was the insight for it? No, nope, no uh, killing of the uh, unwanted. Go ahead. Sorry. See if I uh, noticed 
uh, Frederica not liking the undead. Yeah, I mean, yeah, knowing yeah. that you're you're always like keeping your eyes on her because you don't like her or you're scared of her or whatever. It's pretty pretty obvious. Like she cannot hide anything. Just sister, basic rule right now, okay? Boy is I can't see in the rooms. Please make eye contact with me on this. She's looking at you. Don't attack anything that doesn't attack you first right now. Fine. Okay. These can be powerful allies of ours. I'm going to go over to one of the undead and poke it. What's it? It just, it just kind of wobbles a little. Is it, was that polite? Uh, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't polite. Just hands to ourselves, kid children. Hands to ourselves. He's going to put his hands in his pocket. <sighs> this is going to be interesting. Thank you for the rooms. Um, honestly, I feel fine right now if the uh, the Archean is available to see us now. Yes, stay Archean. That is a, that is a yeah. correct term. Thank you. Um, uh, it will be a little bit. She is very busy, uh, but we will... You will be available to for an audience in a little bit. Please rest, enjoy yourselves, and if you need of anything, just ask any one of the services, and they so any one of the servants, and they will provide it. Thank you. We appreciate your hospitality. Um, when she said servants, does she mean the undead? The, okay. the undead are are perfectly dressed. They just have really pale skin, droopy eyes. Okay. Think, um, of, think, think of along the lines of like Lurch from the Adams family, except except not as Frankenstein-y. Okay. If Lurch was human size, is regular human size. <laughs> yeah. Um, for all intensive purposes, I will follow Squall, um, trying my best not to anger him. I'm not angry. I'm not. This is just a high-stress environment. I understand it's not everyone is attuned to this kind of situation and just trying to do our best so we'll try to help everyone out here so we can present our best front to the Thearchian and the Wizards of Thay. For um my uh for me, what are we here for? Uh, they want to, um, the wizards that they want to kind of join forces with us since the, oh, because okay, all the wizards that, that we, now. yeah, were they, yeah, they are wanting, like, there have been some wizards of they that have aligned with the cult of the dragon, uh, which those wizards were actually exiles from this group, and they don't want the actual cult, uh, wizards of they don't want to be associated with the cult. Okay. So they're, we're trying to negotiate and have them work with us so people will be like, we're not part of that at all. I just need it to catch up. I got you. A reminder. I always remember I have to, I can see the game here, but my camera's here, so I was going to be like... <laughs> yeah, you do see, you do see, um, uh, some of these walking around. Ooh, I'm gonna stay away from those. <laughs> that's a face oh. mommy loves. They are the uh, guards, and actually, that's more of how the servants look like, except without the sword and armor. They're more like 
the males are are they have appropriate like servant attire like butlers and maids and that sort of thing and some fancy pants uh old timey situation yeah i'm going to you do stay. see a couple uh, a few like that uh but they are acting more like guards actually hold on um Hi, Frederica. Low. Yes. The undead. Okay. Um. Okay. Damn, oh. I'm more afraid of Frederica. Okay. <laughs> cool. It makes total sense. Serving your, serving your fears might be a good idea. <laughs> Better to fear your friend than the enemy, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, at I some point some he's gonna be in front of Tiamat. She's gonna do her like fear shout or something, and he's gonna be like, she's totally she's immune to that because she's, <laughs> she's way more scarier and just pointing against Sister Frederica. <laughs> Frederica's on the opposite side, so what do you want me to do? <laughs> like, ah, 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 ah. dies. <laughs> Actually, Frederica would probably be in front of you. And so with Tiamat, so uh, it's kind of a win-win situation. Yeah. <laughs> sister, or a sister wants situation? To... I don't know. When the two sister wants to be in the Tiamat's face. Yeah, sister's melee, you're ranged. I, I, of course, the, the question is: Is what do you think of boy? You rug. Um. Yeah, I, I don't. I find. Catherick finds a boy like weird and he doesn't understand what he's saying when he says like rogue bro and what stuff. It's today and they're they're weird hippie lingo. By the way, he's he's about a year old. <laughs> hmm. I mean he's a okay. dragon, so convert. <laughs> yep. So kids today, weird hippie lingo. Yeah. That's great, Peter. Uh, you, you see, boy, go up to to one of the white services. Uh, services white W H I G H T, like guy popped up there, uh, and says, "Hey, can can I get some wine and cheese?" And she looks down at him and nods, and she starts heading off. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> and he goes and like sits down in a chair. Kind of like puts his feet up on another chair. Hmm. Um. I never prepared my spells. A couple minutes late, later, uh, uh, the the same white comes back with a tray, uh, a tray, uh, which has a has a bottle uh, and a glass. Uh, and actually, it has four glasses and uh, a, pl- a a cheese cheese board. And and uh, sets it down and puts everything on the table and then takes the tray away and moves back to the side, back into her position. I'm gonna go up to one of them and um say, "Bring me a dog." Catherick, what are you doing? Testing their limits. That's- Is that what they're doing? Just... Yeah. They're, they're giving you a... Uh-huh. Look. And then he turns and starts walking off. Oh. Yeah. I shall wait. You hear a... Yes. In the distance. Distance. Oh wait, like a. Just, yeah. <laughs> you got undead. it right. It's an undead dog. You've killed a dog. Um, I'm quitting the session. See you guys. <laughs> you killed a dog. Actions have consequences. <laughs> oh. 
I mean, that's yeah. it. That's 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 all that's happened right now. What are you What are you doing? Just are you kind just, of just hanging out in the parlor or something like that. Yeah, waiting. Yeah. Seeing Catherick order a dog to be killed, and just <laughs> shaking my head disapprovingly. Okay, so we. Like, I'm we not mad. I'm just upset. Heard. We clearly heard that, right? Yeah. We all heard that. Catherick's eyes just widens and his face goes, uh... What have I done? (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, they they haven't come back yet. (laughs) What what, did you expect? What did you expect? Uh, This place is undead. Waiting. Hoping that what he heard was not Real. Bring you a platter of meat. A couple hours later, the the same butler comes in with the tray, uh, with uh, looks like uh, certain meats with some vegetables. Go we'll grab the you platter. Like, <laughs> give him negative inspir. Like I think he deserves negative inspiration for that. You killed a dog. Look, I'm not. I, look, I'm not going to give negative inspiration. <laughs> but if you want, if you choose to roll with disadvantage, I'm not going to stop. He he I, grabs the platter. He just looks at it. Bad. He he. No, he's not eating it. It's what you wanted, but except for the consequences. He tricked. Can't hold on to this platter. <laughs> Kitrick, you can clearly say Sea Sisters looking at you with baffled eye, like, really? I didn't want to. Well, Paul's just like pinching the bridge of his nose, just shaking his head. He's like, I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Disappointed. What <laughs> shit? This was not what was supposed to happen. <laughs> uh, all I, got, I have to say to you is thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you killed a dog. You have to live with that now. In game and out of game. Oh yeah. Catherine is definitely gonna hold I just this. I also I just wanna say say is I just wanna make this point. I love dogs with all my heart. <laughs> and this is mostly breaking my heart. However, what's overwhelming that is the true happiness of a DM that I am having just at this moment. <laughs> Where he's like, oh shit, my consequence. Completely destroying my players. Oh look, the consequences of my own action. My my favorite parts is when, <laughs> when somebody does something like this. I love it so much. As a personal standpoint, like as a like, personal Actually, uh, Keith Rick, you get I- inspir- you get DM inspiration. Oh, fuck Thank you. Name. Thank you <laughs> for giving me such a, a good moment. You got inspiration for killing a dog. Requesting a dog. And, and, and of course, they interpret that as you want to uh, have a dog for a meal. Catherick now hates undead. <laughs> it's. The food looks. It, I mean, whatever they do to, to roast it, it's. It's, Does it look lean? Yeah. Or... I mean, you could try some. I'm surprised there is anything there. living around there. I am not trying that. I'm not trying it. Um, Catherick is too sad to eat. <laughs> Catherick just became boy, a vegetarian. <laughs> boy, uh, 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 takes a knife and fork and cuts himself a piece. It just, just like a little piece. He goes, huh, I wonder what this tastes like. Ooh, this is good. He's a he's dragon, a like that's. He's a dragon, like that's fine. <laughs> Just stare <laughs> at boy and disappointment. Mama, you should try some of this. This is pretty good. <laughs> I know it is. Are you, gonna, I have, are you gonna have some? Can I have it? I I, I just took a bite just to try it, but. I know, Keith. Like I know you ordered it. I'm, I I want to take the food away from you. Yes, I'm gonna have some. Okay. Just gives it to him. 
you know. It would be more insulting not to eat it once that has been killed. I am I am strictly saying no to dog. I didn't ask for that, so I didn't it's ask okay. for it either. You asked for dog. <laughs> he said, "Bring me a dog." Um, you need to be um, clearer next time. <laughs> Those are like genies. You need to be Word, extra clear. And, and to bad. be fair, you, you you could probably interpret that, huh? Huh? Like, what do you mean? Like, what? Could you give me more information? You didn't give them any information, so they're like, okay, I. I normally serve food and beverages to, to the family, so I'll get him dog, a roast dog. What is DM and, uh, inspiration? DM inspiration basically uh, gives you advantage. Uh, you can choose to have advantage on a role you wouldn't normally have advantage on. But you can't yep. use it when you already have advantage. Or at least okay. well, you, my you can use it like after the rolling, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's. I suppose it's more like the luck feat. Yeah, you get a luck point. Okay. Basically, um, you're you're rewarded when you do like a good RP phase about your character or uh, the DM's whim, depending on the, the game. Yeah. Okay. Like, like so. some some DMs will be at the start of a session. Everybody has inspiration, so you get one reroll for the session, something like that. So it is Catholic not bardic is... inspiration. There is a difference between DM inspiration, and bardic inspiration. Remember that. Yeah, yeah it's it's basically it gets confusing when you have a bard in your party and you're dealing with DM bardic inspiration. When you play your flaws, ideals, and bonds really intensely and like to your characters, uh, that's where they say uh, to give uh, inspirations. But that's all up to the DM. So. I mean, I, I believe this is the suggestions for when to give DM inspiration, so. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course, the thing is, and, and people need to realize this, I don't think anybody realizes this, is but one of the things that they mentioned, I believe, in at the beginning of, I think, both the Player's Handbook and the DM's uh, guide, Zero. is is these aren't, like, rules to follow to a T. These are merely suggestions. Guidelines. <laughs> it's, 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 it, they're more guidelines. So if you're not having fun because of a rule, then don't Thank use you. it. <laughs> Do whatever you want. It, and they were like, we're going to give you resources you can use, but you can choose to use it or not. So I, I, whenever you're seeing something that's happening and the DM is allowing it, because he likes the idea. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Well, I've also had times where people have done things that I didn't like, but I still allowed it because <laughs> I want them to have fun. Like oh. if you can give a good if you can explain it well enough, anything can happen. If if you have a player in your campaign uh who named himself AR Nold and he is a warforged and he is looking for a John Conrad. Never, ever, ever let him find him. <laughs> Trust me. Oh my so, god. So, Catholic is uh, clearly devastated and he just um, goes sit somewhere and stares at I mean, the floor. I mean, there's cheese and, and some wine. He stares at the floor. <laughs> It's really After a few minutes, Squall will go up to him and just be like, it's okay. Just, we gotta learn. Especially dealing with wizards. And wizard kind, and their sober servants and everything. Wording is key. He nods his head. This is kind of one of those Learn the fire is hot by touching it type moment. <laughs> you, won't, you won't truly learn the lesson until you get burned. <laughs> so yeah, he's just sitting there staring at the floor until something happens.
listening to sister and boy eat dog. Yes. If you don't eat any, you've killed this dog for no reason. Ragnar is just doing little twirls in the air. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> Which isn't really a barrel roll, it's a corkscrew. When they do it in the game, like. I guess saying do a barrel roll is better than say do a corkscrew. Yeah. It's more it's annoying the other way when he says it. He just keeps saying it. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Uh, N64. No, that was, was... Yeah, that was N64, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah, it is. Star Fox? The good times. Star Fox, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it was. I remember now. So, are we waiting, or are we just... Yeah, we are waiting for the... They are... Um, they are... To... Be ready, like, to uh, be ready for us. Are, does it seem like uh, the undead are, like, watching us or anything? Of course they're watching us. They're waiting for, to ask if this, for us to say we need something. Excuse me. <laughs> it's like, of course they're watching us. They're waiting. So a couple hours later, we've been waiting a long time. Uh, I guess it might take a little bit. The knee comes back and and says, "The Thayok will receive you now. Please follow me." And she takes you down a uh, corridor to an audience chamber, where you see uh, what. Looks like a very inor- ornate chair, um, uh, red velvet uh, cushions, uh, and a very yep. regal lady, uh, a la Morticia Adams, <clears throat> is is sitting in the chair, uh, flanked uh, on either side by a total of ten red wizards, and five whites. She she examines, takes measure of you. No eye contact. Find ourselves bound in common cause. Oh, by the way, she's holding a glass uh, full of red liquid. We find ourselves bound in common cause against common enemies. Those who sought to destroy us in ages past now seek to destroy you. Our thirst for vengeance is strong as is your thirst for continued life. Our enemy has become your enemy. We know their weakness, the way of destroying them forever without destroying their usefulness. You have the opportunity to discover their hiding place in your struggle against their cult allies. Together, we can remove them as a threat to both of us. Our agent, Ni Ilmik, will return with you to your city of Waterdeep. There to serve as our liaison to your council. What you learn of the enemy, she will relay to us by means of our own. We need only find the enemy. We will deal with them as is our custom. 
I am authorized by my internal master, last time, to say this. For I act in his name. At this point, once she stops talking, Squall will um, step forward, thinking, like, okay, a bunch of necromancers and stuff, kind of show myself as a shadow, like a mage myself, I'm actually going to cast um, Shadow of Moil on myself. What's it do? Don't worry about the damage, because that only happens if they attack me. Ah, shoot. Okay, one sec. So basically, Flame Like Shadows. It's a necromantic spell. It's only one of the few that I have. Mm -hmm. So, um, like, as he's stepping forward, he, I'm going to activate this on myself. Um, kind of just pursue, like, show off some necromancy and that I am, in fact, a spellcaster. Um, thank you, Thearchian Estrel Yeth. We appreciate your kindness in giving us this audience. Um, I shall, as of right now, I, I believe, speak for the our group in matters of this ourselves and be able to negotiate uh, Negotiate any terms that could be agreeable to us on behalf of the Council of Waterdeep. We again thank you kindly and absorbently on you granting us this audience. Um, and in the, at this point, he'll kind of uh, Squall will start talking about what he knows of, like what he's been told by the Council, Kriv, and his experience with the Pirates of Faith everything that's going on the plans the, of what um just cults doing what they did at what he was told about at the council and all kind of just lay everything bare on the floor for them to know he looks over at frederica Oh, sister is clearly not happy to be here. You, blue lady. Where are you from? Ravnica. Where is this Ravnica? Far away on another plane. And you were there when Rathmoda died. Uh, Rathmulder is the one that we killed, right? In the yeah, castle. he was killed in the uh, floating ice, giant's floating ice castle. Of course, I was there. Mm. Well, were you sure that he was dead when you left him? What did you do with the body? Left the body to rot. Hmm. He looks over at Catherick. What is your story, Green One? Why are you Sorry. with this group? I think you're muted because I can't hear you. <laughs> After he just looks up um, for like a split second, meets eye, meets eyes with her, looks around, and just stares back at the floor. Don't be. He doesn't scared. answer. Don't be scared. Yeah. yeah, we were not here to harm you in any sort of way. Come, boy. Why, why are you here? Boy gets darted by sister's eyes. 
you feel this intense pressure coming from uh from uh i'm, I'm going to say from your from your right the direction of frederica uh you glance over and you see squall making these like minor like encouraging like breathe breathe sort of gestures basically whatever Dustin is doing right now yeah. <laughs> But right behind him is where your eyes actually go, and you see daggers shooting out of the Frederica's eyes. You can tell without even having to roll. She's like, "You better talk, bitch." Uh, uh. This is called. This is called role play. <laughs> Honest, honestly, I I don't really know why uh, I I said I would help. And I am helping. Hmm. Interesting. And you, boy, blue boy, is this your mother? Uh, yeah. Mm hmm. No, oh, so you're from Ravnica too. I actually for um, it's a long story, kind of a little complicated. Really? Oh, I do. That interesting. How's that complicated? <laughs> and you, the Genasi? Why are you here? I am here mostly due to my patron requesting of me to help this group out. Um, I They had came upon some trouble um, at one point where they became disconnected from themselves. And me and some other people were called upon to help them reconnect. And ever since then, my patron has asked of me to continue their help in this group this group out in their endeavors hmm. disconnected you say yes Pity. well I have much to discuss with my advisors please Feel free to return to your rooms and again enjoy our hospitality. And we will give you more our decision in the morning whether we will truly assist you. I'll give just a big bow. Like we appreciate your consideration in helping us, the uh, the Archean. Again, thank you. Uh, see, the Squall will, will do his bow. Uh, uh, Boyd will actually, kind of noticing the tension of the space, uh, will imitate his bow. Just underneath my arm and just be like... Because <laughs> like, <"Good> <laughs> he's just like, yes! Uh, he, Boyd notices it, but he doesn't do anything right now. That's fine. And Rodrigo, do you do do you follow suit or Gethrick, do you follow suit? Um, system doesn't follow suits. That's not surprising. No, I mean it's it's, it's <laughs> it, it would be out of character to do so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I asked just in case you never know. Sometimes I, you do uh, think. Sometimes people do things that are out of character for the good, greater good. It's like they may not normally do this, but they're doing this because the situation calls for me to do this. I don't like doing this, but I'm going to do it anyways. Yeah, no, I'm thing. scared that if she if she tries to bow, she's going to barf on the floor. <laughs> Her disgust cannot be hidden. <laughs> yeah, so like, uh, uh looks at Squall and then panic panically look at a boy and bows as quickly as he as he can 
<laughs> a little more awkward, but uh, still, he, he does bow uh, to fall weed suit. And uh, with that, you're escorted out uh, of the chambers and back to your rooms. So I'm, I'm going to say it's a suite sort of thing. So there's a parlor area where you have a few, have a couple of uh, white servants, uh, servants, and you each have a bedroom off from the parlor. Well, probably could have gone better. But could have gone a lot worse. Uh, I think it went really well. It felt, I don't know. It, it, it felt, it felt, it, yes, it felt good. It I'm felt guessing. a little tense, but like, oh. Hey, it, like, but I guess it could have gone worse. Kind of boring. Sister could have gone unleashed. But the Popeye missions I hear normally are boring. But they're unnecessary boring. Yeah. If anything, they don't scare me. I just want to go. I don't know why Mama is so so queasy. At the word, I don't know around these people. Do you want to know why, boy? What's that? These these used to be people, but now they're just they're just husk of what they used to be. They might have been good people or now serving without their consent, most likely, under... Well, if they're husk, help. I mean, nobody was using the body in the first place, right? Yes, you have a point. So, like, their soul was already taken. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, you're probably right. But it, it's not something I really would have thought about until recent experiences. We really like. He he says that like as quietly as possible uh, to you, so the um, one that no one is overhearing. From what I from what I gathered from the energy around her, no, she wouldn't. But I promise not to kill any. For now. Yeah, Dipl diplomatic mission. If anything happens, we can just destroy everything. But no. you're in this right now. I don't I don't I don't know if like the, the four of us could do it. We would probably need a little bit more of an army. Lady yeah. might be able to help, might be able to do a good job, but you know, outside of that. Mm. I mean, do you know of any other ancient ancient dragons? Well, we know I have five. Yeah, You've met them know. yourself. Oh, yeah, oh, they're the the yeah, those guys. But I'm not sure they would necessarily help us. No, they wouldn't. Yeah. Um, boy, remind me when we get home to um get the update on what's happening with their demands. Are you saying this out loud? Yes. Uh, Squall will pick up, up, um, speak up, like, um, well, I know I had, uh, Jorn was gonna help out with, um, grabbing that silver diadem that we had and seeing if Gemma could, uh, put, like, an enchantment or two on it to mm -hmm. serve as the expensive magical item that one of the dragons asked for. Mm -hmm. Um, so... After that, if my memory is correct, the only one left is the one that requests the dragon mask, which is kind of a afterthought, uh, like afterwards type yeah. thing. All all the other uh, requirements, all the other dragons' requirements have been met. The apolo well, we had to see if the apologies have been made. Yes, or exactly. Uh, but otherwise, besides those two, the proof that we've killed the dragon. I know they said they would, but I want to make sure that they will. Understandable. Um, but I, I would think they would, since they know the importance of the fact that if they at least say, say the apology, not mean the apology, that mm -hmm. the dragons will help us out. I'm probably going to ask... Um, 
probably they Gemma doesn't have it, but um Mama is kind of scared to send you in the final battle. Um uh, I would like to find a uh um a suit of armor to protect you more. Oh I'm like this <laughs> the, the the armor he he has is a glamour armor. He doesn't know that. Well, he knows the, the glamour armor, but but to him, it's like this is fine. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, like, do you want it like like just like enhanced or something? Well. I don't know if there is if it exists on this plane of existence, but um, people of importance back in the days, well, back at my plane, um, the rich ones, obviously, they could acquire an armor made for resisting. Oh, you know what? I know that uh, a court. Well, I suppose now Gemma has it. But I, I I don't know if Court left his inventory, but uh, Court had a whole bunch of different armors with resistance. Yeah, um, there's one that the uh, the nobility in Embassy, when they were moving from cities to cities, were wearing to protect themselves. Um, if I recall, it's called an armor of invulnerability, but oh. it's. That's not expensive. So, oh, it is. That's why it was reserved to rich people. Well, we'll see, see what we can do. I'd like to make sure you're going to be good. Don't worry, Mom. I'll be careful. Um, you said we all get our own rooms. Yep. They're all off the parlor, so they're or, There's a parlor and then like four rooms off to the side. Yeah, so so we have a common room. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so we all sleep in the same room. No, well, no, you you all have would... your own individual. So it's a suite. So we've you've got like the common room in the middle, and then there's four door. Well, there's five doors because there's the door into which I'm gonna say are double doors. Very ornate, very luxurious, um, and then four doors that come off of that so you uh, all have your own personal rooms as well as this common room so Catherick is just gonna pick a room and go through it and closes it behind behind him yeah you, you guys haven't actually picked rooms yet <laughs> at least you didn't mention it yeah no <laughs> um Boy, do you want to sleep with Mama? Or do you want to sleep alone? If it's all right, Mama, I, I, I would like to to, to 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 sleep in my own room. That's no problem. I Enjoy the sleep. Kind of fun. I got the hassle. Got, <laughs> got a book to read. And right. Enjoy the big he, bed. He also says that really quietly. <laughs> He's trying to make sure nobody. Uh, it takes the fuck that like he likes reading or something. <laughs> yeah, he needs to read. <laughs> Mama. So he says, he, he, you, he, he then suddenly goes, oh, I'm kind of tired. Um, oh, wait a minute. Um, I'm also a little bit hungry. Um, uh, I would like uh, uh, a meal of, actually, I just want a big old plate of meat pies and and uh the white that he uh, asked for oh and uh uh j just some water to go with it thanks as, as it walks off oh i have raised my boy correctly he's drinking his water well well i had a lot of <laughs> wine earlier <laughs> Ooh, you know, that kind of makes you sleepy. It does. But, I mean, it, it seemed to, like, I was a little bit sleepy, but then I ate that meat that they brought for Catholic, 
and and now I'm uh, and then I didn't seem as sleepy, so. <laughs> so. <laughs> Heather in his room crying. Wait. I just in fetal position. Here's just... what happens. Here's what happens. So, it, none of you are paying attention to him, uh, but you you hear you hear the door. Uh, one of the doors just almost quietly close. Like you hear the click of it closing, and then from behind the door you hear thump. That's it. So Mama is going to go and put the boy in the bed. No, no, no. That was that was Keith Rick that was leaving. Oh, <laughs> okay. Keith <laughs> Sorry, in his room, just quite like like silent sobbing. I'm like, oh my god, they killed a dog. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I told them to do it. Yes, you did. Yeah, the, it, it it strangely enough, the dragon's constitution is 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 decent. Enough that that the wine affected him a little bit, but oh. not enough to really like overly affect him. Despite the fact that he's a year old, I, I would definitely say by this time in the adventure, he's at least a year old in human years. Yeah, well, they've been human over years. over a year now. It's over a year. Yeah, something like since that. Since our adventure started, and it wasn't that long after the adventure started that we got the dragons. Yeah. So, um, I have a year question a for something like that. You haven't reached two years, as far as I'm. For, no. So, yeah. Could I work on um like my attunements to um my artifacts to like get a better connection to them? Uh, you can certainly try. What are you, what are you going to try to do? You don't really have anything to, like, whack in this place. No, but I can still I attune. Mean, you have things that you can try to whack, but... It wouldn't be kind. Yeah, it would be polite probably to do be it. a very bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> there's a table, there's some chairs, some nice lamps. Um... Can I try to like get more attuned to the um, the Titan Sky st- Stone Knuckles? What are you gonna do to try to attune to it? Well, I'm already attuned, you're, but like you're, you're trying to to exalt them is, yeah. is what I'm taking for the this. I will tell you this: sitting there and just meditating with them, probably not gonna do it. Okay, with certain artifacts or just any of the artifacts. Depends on the artifact. Like Deathwalker's Ward. Takes all artifacts and just starts. Who has the Deathwalker's Ward right, right now? Squall. Squall does. It's the only it's the only artifact that kind of fit <laughs> what he like it's, his playstyle. I just thought at this point in time, <laughs> lore wise, it probably would be more <laughs> probably be the uh uh, more thematic <laughs> to that boy have it. Yeah. But, it, but, but it, players get it over NPCs. Well, and also Squall took this while boy was um, dead. Away. Yeah. 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 So, but yeah, of all the artifacts, it's the only one that really works for <laughs> oh, Wall. Sadly. Oh, no, he probably whispered that to you. Oh, you mean in Discord? In Discord? Yeah. That <laughs> um, uh, makes me so happy. Anyways. It's like, the goggles kind of were nice, but it's like, mm-hmm. advantage on death saves, which um, is not fun. Yeah. None of them really scream Warlock. So I guess we're going to go sleep. Yeah. Here you go, bed. Like just do nice some, time. just do some his like hymns and haws things until it's nighttime. Oh my God! Whose dog did it kill? <laughs> yeah, 
You you're, you're, know. you're seeing more of the, of the possible consequences, but the fact that there was an alive dog there and they killed it. Ramifications, mister. Murder hobo. Catherick, dog slayer. I'm going to also say that this next part I just want to let me make a quick comment about about this chapter and of Rise of Tiamat. It's awful. It's horrible. It's it, it it looked like it was an afterthought on things. But I'm going to at least partial I I'm probably going to glaze over a good portion of of this part. So I want everybody to roll me a uh, wisdom saving throw with disadvantage. Okay. Uh, so me is going to be done um, regular. Me and boys are going to be done regular since we have advantage. Because of the ring? Uh, no, because of Velokens. Oh, Velokens. Wisdom saving throw, yeah. So, 23 for sister, and 5 for boy. Poor boy. 14 for Squall. Okay. So, Squall. You... Fall asleep. Uh, your dream starts off thinking about a certain brown orc. He is dreamy. Who, for some reason, during it starts uh, strangling you. All right, that, that that's he that's starts... pretty. That's pretty normal. <laughs> Thank you. But he starts uh, throwing really awful insults. Uh, insulting, it's like, how could I ever fall in love with the Genasi? They're just uh, elemental abominations. Fluff and, another. Fluff another. Uh, and, and all of a sudden, you feel uh, chains wrap around each of your arms and yeah, you, we float up, about this tank. you you float up in, into the to the air and uh jordan steps I turn steps on. back and he turns into a red wizard and my boner's gone and he says we have further questions for you it was just getting good Besides the insult, but have at it. Um, and this, I just the one thing I kind of wish was they would give examples of what type of questions to ask, and it doesn't work. <laughs> they don't have anything, and I cannot think of anything to to uh, uh, uh go through my head. So they, but they to summarize uh, what happens, they will ask you. Again, why the party came to say um, what you know about um, the cult of the dragons, especially their their leader, who they refer to as uh, Severin. I'm not sure if that was ever mentioned to you before. Uh, what you know about Math Rath Modar, and uh, and about your own past and lives of everybody else. So. We're just going to roll this as, as one. During this dream, do you attempt to deceive or do you attempt to tell the truth? Tell the truth. Or do you tell the truth? Okay, I want you to roll me a persuasion check. Okay. Uh, we do it. 
That's a that's yeah. There we go. That's fine. <laughs> it's like I have a plus ten. Like it doesn't matter what I choose. They're plus ten either way. But I'm gonna go truthful. Okay. During this time, you're uh, uh, chained up. You are fully clothed, but you're, you're chained up in front of this audience of like a dozen red wizards and this one inquisitor, you might say. Um, mm. While that's happening, uh, uh, while that's happening, are are you trying to break yourself free, or are you just kind of essentially take it and answer, answer their questions? Just gonna try to answer the questions, and okay. assuming cool. this is that trying to do due diligence. All right. So, uh, I'm gonna roll with you. Excellent. Question. Um, mm -hmm. The mental state that Catherine is uh, currently, mm -hmm. would he be able to s do the wisdom save? Yeah. Okay. We were just at a disadvantage. Besides, you rolled pretty high for someone with disadvantage, so. Yeah. You lucky boy. You, you rolled the highest oh, out of all of them. Okay. I know, like, it... <laughs> I was so surprised. <laughs> and I had the highest uh, death save. Or... Wisdom Stop saves. That. Wisdom saves. Yeah. Stop that. What are you doing? Don't, li Don't like this. <laughs> Stop it. He's killing us. Oh, no, we're afraid TK of DM TK rolls. TKP. TPK. 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 Total kill party, total party. They died in a diplomatic mission. GPK and a diplomatic mission. What the fuck? Do you know how to kill a, um, a social encounter? How's that? Subtle spell, command, shit yourself. <laughs> well... Well, technically, that's more, too many. technically, that would have to be a DM's call because shit yourself is more than one word. Yeah, but like shit. Defecate. defecate. No, defecate. Yeah, defecate. <laughs> like, how to destroy. Damn. Vocab. Assuming. The point of they... the day. Right. Assuming your DM loves that, the word to use for that would be defecate. Yes, that's so, the verb. So you wake up in the morning and uh, who wakes and, up? And um, Frederica, you wake up uh, just having some vague, disturbing dreams in the morning. It's just kind of like awkward. Uh, Catherick, you wake up and you also had some vague, disturbing dreams in the morning. Uh, uh, dreams. Remember, vague, disturbing dreams. There we go. Uh, but otherwise, your depression over the fact that you ended up having a dog killed uh, unintentionally. Um, otherwise, you two are fine. Squall, you come out and... You look awful. You, uh, here's, a, here's the description. Uh, you have a deathly parlor, a pallor, and dark, hollow-looking eyes. I did so well on my persuasion. And, um... Boy hasn't come out of his room yet. Well, Mama's gonna go and wake his boy. All right, so you open up the door. This is no time to oversleep. Yeah, and you see uh, a 
really tired looking uh, black dragon, uh, black slash and carbon dragon uh, lying on the bed, just like. Um, uh, I had the worst. He has a hangover. So, um, sister is going to incite her boy. Like, did you read the whole night? And you're just trying to make up an excuse. Um, he seems to be telling the truth. Oh, poor baby. So I'm just going to sit beside him and hug him. I will tell you tell you that I would count that as advantage and you would learn the exact same thing. So, yeah. you know, I, I, I stay up and I read for a few hours and, and I went to bed and, well, I didn't mean to turn back, but I did. And then in the morning, I was just, uh, I don't know. Tell me what happened. I don't, I don't feel like sick or anything. Just... Uh, let me hold on. Poof! He turns into his uh Vidalcan form, and he's got a deathly pallor and dark, hollow-looking eyes. He's like, but just being able to change shape like this. It's, he he sees himself in a mirror. It's like, this looks so weird. How could this happen? And his eyes are just all droopy. I don't know. It's like all of a sudden, like these red wizards were like around me, and they were asking me some questions, and I just answered them as as truthfully and everything, and 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 everything. And then I, the next thing I know, I woke up. It was awful. It was kind of scary. Oh, it was just a dream, baby. Mama is here. But you look a little pale. So like, like a mama, I'm just going to inspect him. Like, he could have got bitten in the night by, like, a spider or something. Or, you know, like, like a mama would do. You look pale. How's your temperature? How's your... Yeah, he's just, you know, he, he's just falling along. I roll. Roll medicine check? Yeah. Yeah, he was probably affected by some sort of spell. Uh, you think that if he just, like, gets a nice... Comfortable, long rest. You'll be fine. You just need to sleep a little more. You'll be fine tomorrow. In the meanwhile, there's probably food. Let's get you a, a nice breakfast. And you come out and you see a nice little breakfast bu buffet, which has basically anything as pancakes, as waffles, and as... Of uh, fruits uh, of all sorts, um, uh, they do have uh, some some like some sort of egg dish and sausage. We love sausages. <laughs> um, by the way, uh, do I do I know what spell? Could I know it? Um, based off of the fact that it was a dream, you might think that it was a spell known as dream. Dream? You mean like? <laughs> I still ask. <laughs> oh, like Enjoy. does he does he know? Well, I rolled my arcana just to make sure. Yeah, you think you think that was a dream sp spell? Are you, are you asking uh, uh, asking boy if he thinks it's a dream spell? Um, no, but I'm gonna ask like contoured question like. Did you had a? Did you speak with someone in your dream? Well, yeah, somebody was asking me questions. No. Who were they? Do you remember? Uh, as I said, they looked like red wizards. You can clearly, you everyone at the table can clearly see the demeanor of sister being like, 
Oh. Okay. I mean, they're all for it. I mean, they. I, I don't understand why they had to like, like the the dr- these dream wizards had to like chain me up or anything because you know they could have just asked what. Me. They were just asking about like the good old days and like what's happened and such. Um, everybody seen uh, Hercules, the old like movie, like the, cartoon the, ones. The, oh, the cartoon yeah. one. Yeah, the cartoon one. Just Disney. Right, yeah. old. It's just imagine, wild. just imagine sisters as eighties with the fumes of anger, like sister, like, sister, sister, calm, calm, calm. They did the same to me. I am assuming it was what, them doing their due diligence to making sure what we said was like our stories were concise from what we said in the audience cha- the chamber, the audience chamber. Oh. She, she, you're gonna see the struggle of her trying to calm down and like her height twitching. They still have not done harm onto us yet. Yes, we might not have a good night's sleep, but that still does not concise harm. Right? They have not. And she, she, she's still twitching, like calm. Joyful thoughts. When we get back, we'll take you go. We'll let you go. Like take you somewhere so you can go kill something. Please, please Does do. That sound nice? Does that sound nice? Something red. Okay, we can figure this out. <laughs> just, a, just a goblin, and we put like a red day hat on it. Just like go find some like. Some could like look like a cup of cobalts and just be like, okay, here. Today's your day, how cobalts? <laughs> uh, Avoiding all meat. Well, while you two are talking, uh, Catherick and, and Boy are at the buffet, uh, filling up plates. I don't notice nothing. I don't notice nothing. Okay. Well, Frederica, if anything, passive perception would notice. Yeah. I mean, they're not trying to hide it or anything. No, no. Just I would, I would, yeah. Frederico, but, what's your passive perception? Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, so you definitely notice that that uh, Keithrick is avoiding any of the meats. Like meat, just the meat. other day, he was asking specifically for meats, but yeah. And, so and, uh, <laughs> and uh, 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 boy, uh, seeing this kind of you see see boy like. Look at him like, do you want some sausages, sort of thing? And he and he says, hmm. shrugs his shoulders, and yeah. he actually takes some extra sausages. <laughs> so just just for the lull, because I know it's not gonna work, but you know, okay, okay plus one d four. What are hey. you trying to deceive? <laughs> um, y- you got meat on your plate, Dietrich. If you're trying to like avoid it. He's like, call me an insight check. Pilot, please. (laughs) (laughs) It's the moment to roll with the advantage. I'm just letting you know, I have plus eight to insight. Yeah, so so go ahead and roll an insight check. (laughs) There we go. You you know she's trying to tease you. Uh, What's your reaction? Um... he, He stares at you, not directly in your eyes, but like Never Your makes forehead. never makes full eye contact with you. Your, your mic was all skis me, <laughs> sister. Um, yeah, he, he just stares at you, not looking in your eyes, but just vaguely somewhere on your body and looks at the Remember plate. Remember that stare of daggers that you gave him yesterday? That's basically yes. what Catherine is doing to you, just trying to avoid your eyes while doing it. <laughs> He's having vital parts. And yeah, he'll just start eating. <laughs> we'll just go to your room. <laughs> just close the door. Just don't wait for Frederica. <laughs> I did nothing. Well, well can, can you not scare my rogue bro? <laughs> That's kind of hard, baby. Swallow, swallows chirp up. 
I think that's physically impossible. I think if if his if his shadow wasn't attached to himself, he would be scared of it. Probably. I mean, that would be kind of weird. I I suppose. Oh, I don't. Why would he be scared? Oh. But you know what is the weird? But the the weirdest part is. When he sees sister, he's scared, but if he's near her, he's immune frightened. There's a difference between scared and frightened. I know, but like... <laughs> it's still funny. The door opens, and, uh, uh, me... Me. Keep thinking of, like, the knights who say me. Uh, me, uh, uh, enters the room and says... Well, I've got good news for you. I will be returning with you to Waterdeep. We have agreed to aid the factions of the Sword Coast, and uh, as I said, I'll be accompanying you as the Thane Ambassador to the Council. That is wonderful news. Thank you. Well, whenever you're finished with, whenever you're finished here and have all your belongings, I can transport you at any time. Ooh. There's still some ready. sausages left over. Mm. Delightful. I mean, sister is clearly heat, uh, heating her uh, emotions. Like, <laughs> keep calm, channel it into food. <laughs> Tessa just watches her mouth move as she chews. Oh, there's no chewing. Like, <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, me. follow. Yeah, she she's swallowing food just to like keep her hand occupied. I'm uh I'm talking about um the the mage lady. Oh, sorry. Um, you're, you're fine. Um, yeah, he, he's just watching her chew. Uh, uh, like in disgust, but that. <laughs> mm. He he's not shaming the the act of eating meat. Like he's not like one of those vegans or anything. He's just really, really distraught and just cannot bear. Yeah. Boy finishes up and, and says, I left my bag in the room. And he runs back to his room and uh, he comes out and he's putting a book uh, a book into his bag and, and he kind of pops. Huh. And he just closes closes it. Uh, I'm ready whenever. I don't know about you guys. Are you guys still eating? Uh, he likes scarf good. down his food, so. Uh, Catholic is ready. Sister oh. is too. Okay. So, like we're, she's we're still ready. eating, but you can see she just want to go home. All right. Um. Let's everybody. Let's stand up, just so when we land, we'll be in a better position. And you all stand. All are standing, and she snaps her fingers, and whoosh. He appears just throw outside up. of Waterdeep. Keithrick burls. Keithrick uh, 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 lands and goes. Oh. It's the dog. Do the dog was actually, actually... Are you just making that as, a, as an out of character comment. Just to clarify. See, if you had eaten the dog, it would have been stayed in your in your stomach. He ignores Frederick. <laughs> okay. Uh, Nia turn, turns to you, and she she uh, pulls out of a, uh, a bag a, a dark cloak that she throws over her her garments and, and ties closed. And she puts up a hood and says, uh, I will be going to the council and uh, 
and discuss matters with the Leosin as he was my contact here. Yeah, I will be seeing. I hope to be seeing you at the next council. As do we. When she War uh, enters Waterdeep. Oh, we're in Waterdeep now. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're outside of Waterdeep. outside of Waterdeep. She she it kind of I think she she was doing it as kind of a courtesy to not teleport directly into Waterdeep. So, so um, sister's gonna look at Swall and be like. Find me something red. <laughs> hunting we will go. Hunting we will go. You are on the south side of Waterdeep, so a few miles away is... Oh. Yeah. A me, giant me, crab. And, me and Federico go hunting. Yeah. So she can kill something red. Alright. You go Just for the love. And find something red. Find a boar. I don't know. That boar is no, no. dead. You find a rare, rare creature uh, in this part of the world, an ostrich. But it's not red. Oh, ostrich it's a red ostrich. Meat. Oh, okay. Ostrich may not ha be red on the outside, but it's red on the insides. I have had <laughs> ostrich, and it's delicious, by the way. Yeah. It is so so good. I haven't had it in a long time. Actually, I I've only had it once, and that was during my senior prom, uh, uh, like pre prom dinner. Then I learned that yes, I do not like shrimp. <laughs> it, was like, it was like ostrich and shrimp. Anyways, hey, what? Well, why we uh, use this? You, I'm assuming you go hunting. You find an ostrich, uh, kill it so you get some red meat. Uh, and uh, take it back to the Sanctum of Eyes, I'm assuming. Yes. Uh, we're, we're in the water deep, right? Outside water deep. Just out of, uh, uh, south of water deep. But, well, you know, you're in, you're in, you could go back to the Sanctum of Eyes or just go right into water deep. Okay. Uh, I need to go to water deep to check if they have, um, if the um, Acquisition Incorporated can acquire uh, the armor I'm looking for. Because with with what happened to boy, nope, there's no, nope, that just solidifies that I want him more protected. If I have to protect him from mages, nope, nope. You you speak with the the agent and he goes, "You're trying us trying to find plot armor. Do you know how hard it is to find plot armor? Plot armor." <laughs> No, it's it's a um, plate of invulnerability. Uh, sorry, we just call it plot armor. Oh, um, well, you're supposed to be the best. I mean, yeah, but there's there's costs and and things. Yeah, how it's much? One of the you see, we do have kind of a list of like items that we would consider to be an, as infeasible. Uh, if we end up coming across it, but we'll we'll take it, and if we may sell it because you know we're about making money, uh, that's what our job is. But the cost for finding such a, an item is uncalculable. Oh, I get it. Not not necessarily saying that it's like too rich for anybody's blood. I'm sure somebody might pay for it, but I couldn't even give you a quote on how how much that would cost because of how hard it is to find. Whenever we have an uncalculable amount and we don't know what our return on our, on our investment is going to be, be, we call that a risk that we're too risky to take. Um, just a weird question. Now, if is you know this... where it is, <laughs> sure. We'll, it, it, yeah. And any dangers that might be, sure. We'll we'll go get it for you, and we'll charge you appropriate amount for uh, a risk uh, with the after we've made a risk assessment of the situation. Actually, I don't mind getting it myself. It take a couple of days. If you can find it, I can go and pick it up myself. Look, we acquire things that we know we can acquire. If we don't know where it is, we're not going to find the place where something is is to be for somebody else to acquire it. We're acquisitions incorporated. We actually require, acquire the thing. 
We don't acquire locations of things. We get the location and then acquire it. That makes sense. Well, unfortunately, I don't know where it is. Well, I'm sorry. Or even if it exists. It's okay. So I, I guess I'm going to go and see um, like blacksmiths. There's plenty of blacksmiths in town. Yeah, great blacksmiths and ask if they can make it in collaboration work if their time can be paid for and make one. Well, we can make the armor right? then there would be about I mean, can they wear some some plate or mail armor? Yeah. Okay, we can make that armor. Well, if but you can we make it, figure out about who can enchant that. Who could uh, a mage? I could. mean, in, in the end, it would be about about getting the enchantment, then about the materials that would take that they would need to enchant it, which would be that depending on the type type of enchantment you're looking for. So you're looking for something that's just like. Like one of the potions of invulnerability, but lack an armor form that's permanent. Yeah, I I can probably make the potions. I don't know what would be needed for the. Uh... Sure. Sorry, I was answering another question. Um, all right, so I'm, I guess I'm going to go, there's a, there's a mage tower. Yeah, I do know that there's a, a uh, magic item shop called Gilmore's Glory Skits. I'm going to go there. I'm going to ask him, uh, if, if he's able to do it, if he's not, that, that kills NBA. <laughs> Really? You're talking about an armor of invulnerability. They're so are uh, extremely rare and extremely powerful. They're legendary. Yes. I mean, I could, I could probably attempt that, but it would take quite a while. Can you get help to reduce the time? I mean, this would literally take years to make. Oh. And we require... All my time, even with assistance. I'm not. I doubt we have years. Do, do, do keep in mind, uh, armor of invulnerability is a legendary item. So the fifty weeks purchase, the purchase and development of it, not yeah. going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> much less than time that you would actually need it for what you're looking for. <laughs> if yeah, I know. I just want to find it. I want to see what shops are around. Randomly, gen randomly generated shops. Yes. <laughs> hey, just you found a website. Let's use it. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So, before we do that, I need to refresh my beverage, which means let's take a, a five-minute break. Uh, okay. Trick. Around what time do we need to uh, finish? I'm fine. <laughs> So That's words, not an answer. He, he takes naps after work now. So oh, okay. To... That's good. I wish I could take naps. <laughs> I like to play uh, Russian roulette with my sleep schedule. That's fun. Am I going to sleep 30 minutes, an hour, 8, 12? Who knows? As long as I go to sleep by two, I'm good. For work days. Yeah. I guess I'm gonna ask Gemma. Like, if she can if she can do it in like one quarter of time. I don't think you're gonna get this yeah uh, let me let me hope okay okay so 
Because I think with that, like, we could be good. But no, I'm interested to uh, look at the, uh, what's the name? Um, random generated items. Yeah. <laughs> like and, a, and I'm that, went probably, by, that chapter went by real quick. Yeah. Ooh, and this, I'm probably going to buy like two or three potion of invulnerability. If you find oh. them. Well, those are rare. I can, like, Gemma can probably make them. Because consumables takes, like, half of the time, so, like, five weeks, and since they're rare, she probably has some. Who knows? Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice potion, potion of maximum power. The first time you cast a damaging spell of fourth level or lower within one minute after drinking the potion, instead of rolling dice to determine the damage, uh, you take the IS roll. Nice. Yeah, it's a rare potion. Which is nice. Oh. Um, weird question. Are we going to be, are we going to be 15 by the end, like before the, the big fight? If we do it the way the module is set, we end at like, once we get to, we finish the fight for Tiamat, we're at it. We get the yeah. level 15. Okay, once we kill Tiamat, or before killing Tiamat? Once, once you kill Tiamat. Oh, okay. So it's a 14 level campaign. I believe it's 8 Tiamat. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, I thought we can kill her. You're right. <laughs> Stop my beverage. I feel much better right now. Hey. So what else were we doing? Nothing. So the answer to your question about the honor of vulnerability, no. You ain't getting it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I get it. I, 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 will, I will determine plot armor later. Anyway, it's not... I think we're strong in that case. In any case. So. You're hunting. Catherick doesn't come with you. You're hunting. And uh, you find an ostrich. Get some red meat. And I'm assuming you head back to the. Uh, the uh, Sanctum of Eyes. Uh, no. Squall yeah. wanted to see the random generated no, we, item shops. Well yeah. We, we go to. We go. Like, we got the meat. So we'd have to drop it off first. Oh, right. No, we cooked it now. <laughs> but then you're going to go shopping in town. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, do you think I could find a rare potion? Okay. First off, um, what do you guys think uh, water... Do I have the map of Waterdeep? Did I? At one point you did have MIA. Yeah. 
Oh, I do. We, it's right over we, here. We have the map of Avernus, though. Okay. Yeah, we have a map of Avernus, I guess, but yeah. yeah. Yep. Here it is. Enable. Yay. Map of Waterdeep. That way we can at least put a, a, a show a location. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to point out specifically where in the city of Waterdeep. Nothing right here. But here, here's a question. This city, would you consider this a uh, large city or a metropolis? A metropolis. Metropolis. Okay. Considering the different cities, this is a metropolis. All right. Yeah, I would, so, I would consider this like, yeah. All right. So, uh, Squall, since you're doing the, sh doing the, if anything, at least window shopping, if not just uh, the regular shopping. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, might actually be a regular shopping. Actually, I need to pull up something else here before we get into shops. I'm doing random uh, shopping Sethar. too. Here we are. Yeah. Are for a reason. <laughs> All right. Here we are. Okay, cool. All right, I want you to roll me a d6. Six. Six. So, adjacent to uh, the Yawning Portal, uh, just a, a really close to, to the Yawning Portal, you find a uh, shop which is single-story stone wall building with a reinforced wooden door. Uh, it appears to be unusually busy. Uh, inside, you see uh, heavy, a heavy set uh, woman, a human, um, uh, who looks suspiciously inquisitive. Uh, you find out that her name is Ms. Berger. I see, and what may, may I help you? I was just doing a little shopping, ma'am. Seeing well, wares. Well. Uh, and you look around and you see a plethora of wands. Ooh. Well, you come to the wand, right? We have plenty of wands of webs, of uh, one of paralysis. Uh, we do have a few magic missile ones, a magic, one of magic detection, an email detect, enemy d detection. Uh, we do have a couple of wands of the wall made. Wands of the War Mage. Tell me about that one. Uh, you point to one and it says, well, this one is made of ash and it grants the magical ability to speak with rope. It is a plus two Wand of the War Mage. What about this one? This one, this ornate, ornate willow wand, uh, it also repels small insects when held. It is this a one? plus one. So just point to two more. Okay. This one is a, a, a wand of the war mage. This is a heavy wand set with garnet. A garnet. It, it's it's quite beautiful. I do say so myself. It's also a wand of war mage plus one. It just looks different. Yeah. And those are our three wands of the war mage. What are they? Like did you, you, say, say, you point to another one, or do you point to just a random one, another one? Well, I was trying to figure out, like, wands. Like, they're just, like, random wands. Yeah, so I'm trying it, to see, like, wands of the ward. Okay. Yeah, so she, so the ones I list off is what she has. She has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, wand of, wands of web. They all look different. I got descriptions. Nice. Did you say the wand lets you speak to rope? Yes, I do have a wand of mage, which also grants the ability to speak with rope. Okay. Very interesting. Thank you. Uh, just perusing wands really aren't my things. I'm more of a rod guy, and I'll pull out my rod. Ah. The, the pack keeper. Hmm. 
Well, sadly, we speak to strict, stick strictly to wands here. Well, thank you so much. I mean, it's very similar construction, just kind of like it's more it's just it, it's not as elegant. In my opinion, of course, it's you know, whatever if if you th- you think it's very elegant, that's your your opinion, and that's perfectly honest. But uh, I prefer the magic of the wand. Or I believe wands also can be made of uh, metal versus uh, uh, wands, which are usually made of some sort of wood. Uh, more of a utility over. show this one specifically is very down my alley yeah let's see and she kind of looks at it she she you still have it in, in your hand uh and she touches it and puts a pearl at her uh, at her forehead and her eyes uh low purple for a moment oh I see. Thank you for letting me peruse your wares. Oh, you're very welcome to return. If you need something supplemental, again, we have things like like the Wands of Magic Missiles that we have. These are utility. They're not necessarily used for, for regular spell casting. How many Wands of Magic Missiles do you have? Uh, I currently have two of them. And she points them out. One How much of them is uh, one of them. She, she holds up and says, "This is a, a cedar wand, which is inlaid with electrum, and this one is a masterwork or oak wand wrapped in a copper wire." Did you want it to acquire them, Squall? Here, I want to see some. Would you like some wands of magic missiles? You, I, I would. Mean, you could you could just get one because I believe the the charge is recharged. So getting more yeah. than one is not necessary. Well, and, well, um, the the if it's more than one person has it, yeah, exactly. You know? I'm gonna take both if you're not taking them. I might take. I'll I'll, I'll take one. Great. How much for the wand of magic? Well, let's find out. These are 600 gold pieces. Sure. Five hundred. Let me persuade you, Jack. Sold. Which one are you are you wanting? The cedar or the oak? One has electrum, one has copper. The electrum. Okay. I'm going to take the copper. Okay. She still sells your for 600. Yeah, you sure. didn't haggle. <laughs> no, I didn't haggle. I'm very char- charismatic, so... I mean, even if she wanted to, sister cannot really try to haggle. <laughs> Here's the question. Do you really need to for a 600 gold piece? No, I don't. <laughs> hey. It worked. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I did it because I could. Yeah. I'm not any, any other uh, shops? Yes. Can do another shop? Another oh. shop. All right. Roll me another D6. I'm going to do it. Okay. Which shop you find? Two, 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 two. two. Uh, this two, one. Two. Um, Ether, are you with us? We would have announced that we were going shopping once we got back to the Sanctum of Bio of Eyes. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't return with you. Well, he, he, like, when you return, he, went, like, he didn't go back to the Sanctum of Eyes? No. Oh. 
when you arrive at the Sanctum of Eyes, he's still not there. Oh. I hope that's done. Hey, did you ever actually like head in the direction of, of the Sanctum of Ides, or were you um, still doing what you were doing? Yeah, it, w- once I once I figured out where she was going and that she was like safe and all that stuff, um, I would have just head back home. Okay. Or, I would or, say uh, that as you're exiting the southern gate, uh, which would be the gate that Squall and Frederica would be coming through, uh, you run into each other. So they could have stopped, said, hey, we're going shopping. Do you want to come with? Sure. Okay. Did you want to get anything at the uh, uh, the wands, right? The what? The wands, Did right? you want a wand? Uh, a wand. There was a bunch of wands of web. Um, Enemy no. detection and what was the other one? Magic detection. Uh, it, protection. Per, there, yeah, protection detection. No, there, there were both detection. Oh, detection oh, yeah, of good and evil. Or... No, there wasn't any of those. There was enemy detection and oh, and magic detection. Enemy detection was always nice, I guess. But those are oh, both attunement, okay. right? Mm, maybe. But I think the magic detection is, and so is just the war mage. Yeah. No, yeah, the war mage was later. But war mages are more for mages. Yeah. So. But I in Rogue, you... you can use magic item. So. Sorry, I was muted again. Um. <clears throat> Did you say we need to attune to them to use them? If they say they do, um, some wands yeah, don't require it. Like the one, the wands of magic missile me and uh, Frederica got, they do not require attunement. That's the enemy with magic. The, the, magic the detection, the no. The whole I'm entire enemy detection might be the same oh. as. Yeah. Like magic magic. detection no but enemy detection does oh okay uh, well yeah I don't have any interest then yeah the wanted magic detection basically all it does is allow you to um, uh, you use detect ma- cast detect magic that's it yeah and it's one no of those interest. things that you could do it three times in one day and it's not one of the ones that just kind of like uh, the ma- loses his magic <laughs> at the end of the day. Yeah. It just recharges. <laughs> I, I suppose because it's just it's just detect magic. <laughs> not that powerful for even balancing. All right. So no wands. So. You guys do a little more shopping and uh, you find a public sp- square which has a um, which has an armory shop called the Unicorn's Haw- Hawkbirds. Uh, right next to it apparently is a, uh, a workshop for a bower. They're not really a shop shop, but they're a workshop. Uh, but they do have an armor. The um, it, this shop is a single story building of uh, finely carved stone with a reinforced wooden door and a small elf wrought wooden shelves. The surrounded yard is filled with scorch scorch marks and craters. Um, do they sell armor? Yeah, it's an armor shop. Oh, I missed that part. Well, um, I'm, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask my luck. You know, I know you said no, but like sister doesn't know the DM said no. Huh. We're like, you don't have that by any chance. Nope. So you walk into the shop and you find a lustful female human named Gatio. 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 Uh, you do kind of um, notice that there's a uh, young girl that's uh, uh, sitting sitting at a table writing on something, and when you enter the shop, she looks at you, and her eyes wide, like, ah. 
It's just like, well, hello and welcome to the Unicorns Halberks. What, uh, what do you, what, uh, what might I have that would interest you? What are your best, best armors and oh, shields? I, I do currently ha have some chainmail plate, uh, chain plate and scale and splint of and adamantine armor. I I do have um, a plus two splint armor, uh, three plus one shields, uh, regular plus one ring mail armor. Uh, we do have an acid resistance armor. Oh, we do have three sentinel shields, and we also have a spell guard shield at this time. You have a spell guard shield. Yes, and she she uh, she says yes. This was this was found found from a horde. Hold from a dragon called Ebumon. It's a finely crafted shield. Yeah, it is. The, this is the, the complete description is this finely crafted shield was taken from the horde of the dragon Ebumon. That's it. <laughs> finely crafted. Yeah. That is their wares. Um do you see anything you'd like to wear, boy? Uh, oh, really? I mean, I, I like how to keep it loose and light. Yeah. I mean, if you if you want me just protected, I could probably try to wear it, but I'm not really good at wearing any of, like, he... he Dings like one of the adamantine armor. This stuff is pretty heavy. Yeah, but you're getting stronger every day, right? I mean, I have the strength, but you know, I'm not quite used to it. Yeah. Light armor only. Yep. Mm. You put him in an ar <laughs> Put him in anything that he's not proficient in, and he's. Gonna get disadvantage on a whole shit ton of things. I know. <laughs> I'm looking for light armor. What is the best light armor she has? Well, uh, sadly, uh, she doesn't really have any light armor. She's more of the uh, steel craft armor. Nice. Mm, nice. <laughs> well, yeah, I have no interest here then. Unless she has like other things that yeah, I think the only person uh, person that would even possibly have any interest would be Frederica, and maybe yeah. Zen. But yeah, unfortunately, she has an artifact as a an, as an armor. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Plate of the Don Martyr. It's a pretty a pretty good, better than anything yeah. that's here. Yeah. Like the 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 spell the sh uh, the the spell sh the spell shield is pretty pretty good. Like I I think I could buy I, actually I'm gonna buy it for Zin because giving him resistance to spell against cultists could protect our like. So, um, how much for the, the um, pretty shield? I, 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 roll me a d4 plus one. <laughs> Four. Oh, wow. Okay. I prefer your price. Oh, 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 okay, this is a little bit better. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> this is available for 40,000 gold pieces. Sold. All right. Yes. Yeah, purchase the spell guard shield. Yes. Uh, hold on a second. Let me take a look at something here. I ain't even, I ain't even proficient in fields. Here it is. Oh, it requires attunement. Yes, it does. 
Okay, so long, parapet of wound closure. and Because you're buying it for Zen, right? Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure I add it to his... Okay. Yeah, Bobby prefers to have two daggers, so I'm not going to give him... He, he, he has many daggers. If it's a dagger, he wants it. So. Yeah, beside, like... <laughs> Beside dex, con, or strength saves, so, but dex saves are most most likely to be used for attack damage spells, which he's proficient. He has advantage on int, whiz, and charisma. So, uh, Lebanon's uh, hoard his books, uh, along with her dad. <laughs> she taunts. Or it's or it is, daggers. Is daggers. Yes. Like, I'm just waiting for a dagger, like a weapon shop. I'm probably going to buy the like all daggers in that shop. Like, like he could use he could use a rapier. He could use a short sword. He could use a long sword. He could use a hand crossbow if he wants. He could but use daggers. any sort of simple weapon. No, no daggers. the only thing he'll use is daggers. Daggers. So he's he's all about collecting the daggers. I'm just looking at his sheet sheet here. <laughs> yes, it's his sheet funny. On, uh, on D and D uh, on roll twenty uh, or D and D beyond. I'm looking at D and D beyond. Yeah, dagger, uh, you've seen dagger plus one. Uh, dagger plus one. I've already put in the. I've already put in the um uh, the blue and the red one, but they're not like equipped. They're not equipped. Oh. Yeah. Well, you have it ready for when they're available. Yeah. When you get them. I mean, yeah. we haven't encountered no red dragons yet, so. <laughs> oh, we have. Yeah, no, you're right. We did. <laughs> we did. We didn't survive it. <laughs> yeah. Well, he wasn't alone, that's why. Uh, at, the, at the armor shop, I'm just going to ask if I, if by any chance she would have Dragon Guard. Dragon guard armors, like dragon scale mail. Uh, no, the the armor is called dragon guard. It's a rare. Uh, yeah, it's a rare one, non attunement plus one AC armor. It's a breastplate, and uh, it gives advantage on uh, saving throws against breath weapon from dragons. Yeah, scale mail. I think breastplates are medium, though. Yeah, medium. AC 14. I didn't say it right there. But... Okay. Yeah, so... If anything, should... uh, boy does not want it. <laughs> no, but I'm certain Gemma could... Like, switch up the enchantment from one to another. I know Quartz was that good. I mean, she's in the middle of creating some daggers for you. Yeah. Or a dagger for you. Yes. I believe she just has the blue one, right? Yeah, sadly. I can't wait. And then uh, he's going to make like one armor, dragon. If anything, the armor does not have uh, dragon guard armor. Okay. I heard they have one of those in Thandelver. <laughs> <laughs> he just, okay. uh, just a rumor mirror starts. Oh no, I think it's over here. No, I think this person had it. No, it's over here. You win this Kubidu song. Going through doors and coming out different doors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just different shops. So, uh, I guess third shop? Yes. This didn't answer. Doing one, one per character is okay in my book. I didn't mind. Squalled it is. Alright. Uh, 
Let, just for fun, let's roll a d4 instead of a d6. Do it, Keytrick. Do it. See if we can find one for you. Find what? A uh, shop. Oh, it might be okay. appropriate. Like, more if, appropriate. If there's a shop that catches your eye. You're what? shopping. Raider. Not a traitor, a trader. E R. A R. E R. And it looks like uh, you find an area which is surrounded of um, uh, looks like well lit streets and what looks to be Wizard's Tower. Um, the street outside is filled with uh, blue uh, chemical smoke where you find Rotter's Arcana. The shop is a single-story stone-walled building with a reinforced wooden door. The door was engraved with runes of power and sorcery. Shopkeeper looks to be an old male dwarf named Otter. Um, I will say words. Nothing. <laughs> Hello, um, good sir. Squall, ah, like, well, he didn't take a little bit too time, a little bit too long, and big. Like, Hello, good sir. Welcome to Throttles Arcana. I've got a bo- whole bunch of different magical items here. If you need some blowgun needles, I've got some for you. I also have this nice little needle here. It's called a colon, which, which you can use it to per- apply a colon, coiling grasp tattoo. Trying to do this with a Scottish accent is a little difficult. <laughs> of course, I got the the traditional the the drift globes. Uh, over here, we have a maze of disruption. Uh, I do have a few, a couple of healing potions here. Uh, I do have a potion of mind reading, a couple of supreme healing potions. Uh, I do have uh, singing stones. They come in pairs. I do, do have- also have uh, a couple of spell scrolls, a fireball, flame blade, and uh, speak with animals. Uh, there's always this long sword here, the uh, the sword of life stealing. Uh, and of course, one of my favorites, a one of smiles. <laughs> S- supreme he- po- potions of supreme healing, you say? I. I am very interested in that. You wouldn't happen to have a potion of invulnerability, right? Uh, sorry, Les, I don't have one of those. Um, How um, many potions of supreme healing do you have? I have two. I'll take them. Okay. He's like a saying oh, words. Heather jumps in oh, and says, oh, take No, I, uh, I wasn't saying that as Catherine. I was just... Oh. Too late, Keytrick wants some potions now. <laughs> I'll, I'll, ta- I'll take those. Alright. Uh, roll me a uh, roll me a d4 plus one. Roll the one. Roll the one. Roll Supreme, the one. Supreme healing. Alright. For Supreme healing. Oh. Bad. Let's see here. All right. Hey, <laughs> Les. These things are. I lad. These are uh, supreme healing. Are awfully expensive. I have them for ten thousand gold pieces each. Yeah. Okay. Ten thousand for the lot. <laughs> Let me a persuasion check. That's insulting. <laughs> he wants a fifty percent discount. Fifteen thousand for the lot. Yes. Sold. That um sword of life stealing. It's a it's a long sword. What is that? It's a martial weapon. That's what it is. Every strike by this weapon is accompanied by an earring silence as well. Oh. 
I that, that's see, but that's a uh, oh you should be a proficiency in long sword swords yeah uh oh, what right. what is it again it's a sword of life stealing that's an I and D and D beyond yeah. So, uh, just so you know, those potions for me, when I use them, are automatic 60 HP. Uh, it's, it's listed as Long Sword of Life Stealing. Um, it's, it's, it's mainly because any sword can be one of these, but this one specific one is a long sword. Oh. When you attack a creature with this magic weapon and roll a d20 on the, the attack roll, that creature takes an extra 10 necrotic damage if it isn't a construct or undead you also gain 10 temporary hit points it's a nice uh I feel you so pretty nifty wins um but it is a long sword yes what else did he have Maces. Nothing really ranged that would be in your wheelhouse. Well, he does have blowgun needles. Oh. Eh. Do you have a blowgun? No. He can sell, he can sell you one. Just a regular blowgun. Mm, Hell, okay. if, you, if you buy the lot to the 50 uh, blowgun needles, uh, I'll include the blowgun to, uh, with it. Blowguns, I believe, are simple weapons. Yeah. Uh, I hope they are uh, simple weapons. <laughs> it can be hardly simpler than that. You blow. I don't think I really have an interest in blow guns. You don't want to blow? Well, that's another matter altogether. But on chum. Coiling grasp, tattoo, drift globe. Yeah, Basic what is disruption. that? What is the tattoo? Tattoo? The coiling grasp tattoo? Yeah. It is... Uh, once you attune to it, uh, it's actually a, a special needle. You actually have to... Att- it, it goes through an attunement process. You hold, hold the needle to your skin where you want the tattoo to appear for an hour. And then once it's it's done, uh, the needle turns into the ink and becomes the tattoo. Uh, while the tattoo is on your skin, you can, as an action, cause the tattoo to ex- extrude into inky tendrils, which each of you, each, which each for a creature that you can see within fifteen feet of you. The creature must make a DC fourteen strength savings throw or take three D six force damage and be grappled by you. As an action, the creature can escape the grapple by exceeding a DC 14 athletics or acrobatics check. The grapple also ends if you halt it. No action required. The creature is ever more than 15 feet away from you, or if you use this tattoo on a different creature. Okay, yeah. Um, This is a curiosity question. Is there, like, a bag of endless bags or something. Um, no, the closest you get to is uh, the largest you can get would be like a portable hole. Okay. Um, okay, so what I'm thinking um, I, I, I know it probably doesn't exist, but um, what I'm thinking is uh, a bag that every time you reach into it, you grab a small, like, pouch, and it's endless. You just keep on grabbing pouch after pouch after pouch. So all it has is bags? Yeah. Like, like there's nothing in the pouches. It's just no a just, mundane pouch. Just, yeah. So uh, a bag of pouches. Yeah. Ba- uh, the bag of endless pouches. Yeah, Certainly I could probably work that up. Okay, I-, I would definitely call that, if not a common, an uncommon, uncommon item. 
but since it doesn't exist i was uh in D D currently it would be have to be homebrewed which oh, means okay. Gemma would be your source for that enchantment uh when we get back this might be a good item to see if she has for you <laughs> fishing quiver yeah it's basically a bag of holding for our tree people well i have a endless quiver that uh court gave me oh, oh so the, the efficient quiver uh, it'd be, yeah, the he, efficient. he already okay. has it so wow. okay. i wasn't sure so i remember seeing it the other day i'm like that would be good any more it's shopping been... no nope. yes uh, boys no. turn it's yeah. funny with the push in the supreme healing if i take that it's an auto 60 points for me no worlds required that's nice uh, I will just go back to the D6 for, for boy. It, you it, get it, whatever it, you get. Yeah. Six. I'll in be back cases. In the wand shop. So he finds a wand shop, but does he go in? Uh, probably well, not. Do you want to reroll since we got it? Four. Okay. I don't think we got four. Four, one, two, three, four. It's a dagger shop. Okay, cool. It's actually a... Uh, on, uh, uh, you find uh, this place which has a tavern called the Beggar, the Beggar and Rose and a fine home uh, that's nearby. The shop is a two-story uh, stonewall building with several stained glass windows. It's highly lit by magical candles and chandeliers. Uh, you see a sign above it that says Agates. Pictures, A G H A T. You walk inside and you see a slender female dwarf named Agate. Yes. Oh, welcome, welcome! Welcome to my shop. I've got plenty of things for you to peruse. She shows you a, a elixir of health, uh, oil of slipperiness. She's got two potions of climbing, potion of fire breath. She has two potions of greater healing, two potions of regular healing, a potion of heroism, potion of mind reading, and a potion of water breathing. This is my current stock. All right. And don't worry, I'm always making something new. Um, uh, oil of slipperiness is nice. Potion of heroism could save, could save a slot for Zinderlove. Those are potions I've earned for since I, I have the alchemic, uh, alchemical tools proficiency. So I assume I know yeah, what I they do. I should be able to tell you what they do. Um, I'll take the oil of slipperiness and the um, potion of heroism if anyone wants uh, any of the others. Uh, oil of um, Freedom of movement. Is, uh... Hundred gold. Yes. And the ocean of heroism. Is seven hundred gold. Or no, excuse me. Seven thousand gold. Seven thousand gold? Okay. But the only that really like the that potion only really benefits ha like half of the potion only benefits you. Can't be double blessed. Uh, I know. Uh, potion of heroism is going to be for someone else. Oh, not for me. But it's still going to save like uh, a spell slot for Zinderlove or like. Yeah. 
Ginger Lop doesn't have to touch him. Exactly. Ooh, I should give that to you, sister. What? Um, rummaging through the bag, my bag of holding, I actually pull out. Let's see, what's it describe? Oh, it's Um, just this little stopper of oil. It's pretty, like, it's described as clear gelatinous oil sprinkled with tiny ultra-thin silver shards. That's a vial of, it's a, a thing of oil of sharpness. Yes. Um, oh, got this during, when we, I was uh, working on retrieving your soul. Oh. Yes. That's. This will benefit you gracefully. That's always all that's nice. Thank you very much. Gonna put it on boys. Figured it'd be for you or your boy, whichever one. Well, Does I think his daggers are his daggers are um, more more rewarding of taking it. It, it doesn't matter who. It's just you yes. would be more beneficial of this. Just going through everything in the bag to see. Got a bunch of scrolls. I'm hiding them. Stop going on the fish. Manage. By the way, any plus bonuses don't stack, but yeah. you use the higher one. So you can put that on one of his plus one daggers and make it a plus three dagger. Oh, you could put it or on or his uh, dagger. A plus yeah. dagger. You could put it on a, um, a dragon tooth dagger and make it like a plus three dragon tooth dagger. Uh, and oh, and I'm gonna take both potion of greater healing. And also, I'll go up to boy. I also saw that we have this in the bag too. Uh, hand him a potion of supreme healing. Uh, superior? Uh, Supreme? Supreme. Supreme healing. Uh, the greater healing potions are uh, uh, 100 gold pieces each. Sold. I rolled slow. It's okay. Yeah, yeah it's okay. Um, so, and I will turn to her and be like, I... Because I don't see us using this any time because we also have a scroll of it. I have a potion of gaseous form. A potion of this of of gaseous form? Gaseous. Oh, that's that well that's, I think that's um, what he said. Just in his French accent. What is this? And why can I control it? That was, it was the that red dragon wormling that um boy uh, dominated. Right. Yeah, you're right. The dragon wormling. <laughs> well, what is he doing? In... While, while we're shopping. Okay. Uh, that's a rare potion. Yeah. You also have uh, a scroll of it. And vulnerability she'll, is a rare she'll, potion. She'll offer for the uh, gaseous form uh, 5,000 gold pieces. It's sold. And obviously, and of course, well, I suppose you could just money to if you want anything else. No, I actually have some. Uh, so, uh, I mean, Keith, do you have a li elixir of health? I gotta look to see what that does again. Uh, I think it's about uh, uh, poison like conditions. I don't know the full list. I know it does potion it, uh, poison. It, it cures you of any disease affecting you and removes the blinded, deafened, uh, paralyzed, and poison conditions. Cool. 
It's, a, sure. it's essentially kind of like a greater restoration. Yeah, go ahead and buy one of those. Ooh, 10,000 gold pieces. Trade the potion at, and I'll give him pay. How about additional 25? So basically, you're doing the gas form potion and paying an additional. Um, so basically, you total of uh, 7,500. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and persuasion check. Sadly, that'd, that'd be a sold. guess. <laughs> I should have just said sold. <laughs> <laughs> Time to someone has a plus ten in there. So okay, so oh, you could roll less than a five. <laughs> there is about so just. All right. And then. That was just for that was one. That was just one. Okay. Make it sure. All right. I'm taking your dungeon shopping now. Yeah, we're done. So, so I can say say the following things. Uh, so you you all head back to the sanctum of eyes to get a long rest, and during that long rest, you gain a level. Yay! Yay. You're all level fourteen. Uh, do you Did have you any? Health potions. Did you say I 50? have four. four health potions? Uh, add on there a potion of greater healing. Hey, I'll just hold on to these two potions of healing. Seven for health. Yay! That's decent. Yeah, it's great, is. but it's decent. It's one more than the uh, than the average. Womp three. Yeah. Uh, that's not that's not terrible for Zen. Six. We're rerolling ones, right? Yes. <coughs> twos, because they suck. Okay, four is okay. Nice. Oh, like, damn, Let Jesus. One D eight. Oh, I don't know why I rolled it. Boy is on the uh, is on the uh, the average one. So. Oh. oh. To take an average just to... Yeah, it, it was just simpler to take the average. Oh, but I need to check. definitely in triple digit. Well, he was already in triple digit. Yeah, I'm in triple digits as well. I have blind sense. I have limited wish, so I can um, use it to request the effect of one spell that is 6th level or lower and has a casting time of one action. I don't need to meet any of the... Uh, it could be from any spell list. I don't need to meet the requirements of the spell, including costly components. The spell simply takes effect as part of this action. That's nice. Yeah. We're not okay. So we're, that's the that's the final level up, right? Yeah. Sadly, the final or level the up. module. Well, uh, yeah, but like. Weren't we supposed to fight the red dragon at some point? I'm guessing since we killed like like one of each of the other kinds. Well, you weren't supposed to kill the blue dragon. Oh. <laughs> he was supposed to escape, but you just well, made quick work of him. Sorry. He, he escaped at the beginning of the campaign. He was also supposed to escape at the end of the campaign. It, it happened so quickly. He just kind of looked at him and was like, really? Ah! You again? <laughs> yeah, good. exactly. Oh, that is good. 
Heroes okay. fees? What? Uh, it's one. It's a sixth level conjuration spell. Oh uh, yeah, heroes feast. That's yeah. good. Guess who? Guess who can do heroes feast? Zendelove. Guess who has heroes feast prepared? Zendelove. I'm just looking um at what I can do, like the max I can do. I believe it's a ritual. Yeah, it takes an hour to. It's instantaneous. The feast it, lasts for one hour to consume and disappears at the end of the time. Okay. It's instantaneous. Yeah, casting time, 10 minutes, so ritual. Uh, no, the casting time is 10 minutes. Yeah. It's not a ritual. Oh. Or it's not able... It, you can't ritually cast it. Because rich when you do a ritual cast... um. You're extending the time by 10 minutes of whatever you're doing. So if it's a one minute spell, you ritually cast it for 11 minutes. Um, and it does not consume a spell slot. In the case of Heroes Feast, not the case. You spend 10 minutes to cast it, but you're still spending a spell slot. And you can't like change it to 20 minutes and not use a spell slot. Otto's Irresistible Dance. It does last for 24 hours, so okay. it's one of those things where it's like, the day before you're about to do something, you do the Heroes Feast, <laughs> and then you have 24 hours. It, it, you could do the you do, you do the Heroes take Feast, a long feast rest. at night. Yeah. yeah, you do the Heroes Feast at night, you take a long rest, so you regain the spell slot. <laughs> Yeah, and even though you took slept, you could you still have it. So, and does increase your hit point maximum. Two d ten, and then you gain that much too. Yep. I guess I can take that. But uh, we will basically do our level ups offline. So, guys, for watching. Yes. We will, we will all see you uh, next time for Bears and Dragons. You'll probably see me this weekend play some more Final Fantasy XIV, where Essigos is exploring the uh, post Stormblood content before heading into Shadowbringers. And good news, Essigos has, has one of each role at level 71. Yeah. So, huh. so immediately he could start leveling through dungeons. <laughs> Those so that he could do the, the he could do the uh, uh, role quests as they come about. Oh yeah, that doesn't affect us. All right, I'm gonna end the stream.